You are now tuned in to the Pod Gods Network. And make sure you head on over to podgodsnetwork.com and check out all 75 million shows we have available for your free consumption. They're all free, they're all funny, and they're all fucking Pod Gods. Go check them out. Podgodsnetwork.com, 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 podgodsnetwork.com. Hi, kids. Hi. Salty language time, Brian. It is. Episode uh, 67. Can you believe that shit? I know, right? You know what's coming in two episodes. Winter? It, well, close, yeah. <laughs> Wait. 69, 69 dude! dude. <laughs> Alright, uh, All right. <laughs> So, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Live from the Shameless Plug Studios. Exactly. Always. Yeah. Live to tape, as usual. <laughs> Because we do reel to reel, and we send that to Adam, and he puts it on the internet for us. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, well, that's after Seamus goes through and fixes everything. Well, you got to splice out the shit. Yeah. Yeah, the cutting room floor, even. Yeah, which is where Seamus generally resides. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Because <laughs> he's drunk all the time. And shitting. Well, <laughs> he is a dog. I mean. Well, you, know. you got to shit somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, Food cramps, remember? Well, he, Food also, cramps. <laughs> he also learned from us. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Just pull up a corner, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Precisely, Brian. Ah, only one corner, though. You always pick one corner for shitting, one for sleeping. And one for eating. Yes. One what's, for eating. what's the last corner for? What do you think it's for? I'm assuming we're in a square room, it's not a triangle It's for humping, room. obviously. Oh, ah. this is my humping corner. This is my shitting corner. Over here is where I eat, and that's where I sleep. Yeah. What do you do in the middle of the room? <laughs> Whatever I want. Yeah. Decide <laughs> Dance which, party? Hello? Decide which corner to go to. <laughs> I like it. Oh, if anyone's wondering, that's the gorillas you're listening to in the background. November has come because it's here. Has it? It is. Is it? Yes, November is coming. I see. I see. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, episode 67, like we said. You betcha. Jumping on in here. Jumping uh, on, on it. Yeah. So, I guess, you know, we'll start with the way we always start dance party. Fuck yeah. Oh, wait, dance party. <laughs> Dance party! Picture us Charlie Brown dancing right now. That's enough of that. I'm busting it like Snoopy. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, it sounds nah, over. Not <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Not really, uh, you know. Well, one thing I do know, Brian. Thanksgiving's coming up. It is. And everyone loves Thanksgiving stocking stuffers. They do. They do. You know what makes a great Thanksgiving stuffing stuffing stocker? Stuffing stocker? Oh, man. Um, I'm a damn mess already. I'm going to say polio blankets. That works out pretty no, good. No, this isn't Columbus Day. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is where we have dinner with the people before we slaughter right. and take their land. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, we let them cook all our food, then kill them. Well, that's true, too. That is very uh, Salty Language approved. Of course. Amazon.com from SaltyLanguage.com. You can buy shit like, ooh, a turkey hat. Well, what is a turkey hat? What do you think? Oh, my God, it's a turkey hat. <laughs> wow. It, it looks like you're sticking your head in the cavity of the turkey. It's an actual turkey hat. <laughs> the one's lower way this worse. This is a plush turkey hat. Fuck that. I like the one at the top. Now, this one looks like he's shitting out a human. The one, yeah. Was Drums, this... Drumstick bopper. <laughs> then there's this, oh, my God. What is this mutant? Wow, those are some fantastic turkey All hats. All right, if you want to have some fun, just go to Amazon and Google turkey hat. Yeah, some fantastic oh, stuff. Oh, baby turkey hat. You know, baby turkeys are so delicious. They're nice and tender. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mmm, yummy. Well, that's why they grow them like, nah, I got nothing there. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to buy yourself a turkey hat for a little low cost of six sixty four, go to saltylanguage.com, click the Amazon banner, and buy that shit, dogsy. Yep. After you clear your cookies. Right. Doesn't cost you any extra money. No. Helps us out a little bit. Yes. They throw us like a penny for every $2 they million certainly you spend. Do. <laughs> They allow us to wet our turkey beaks. Yeah. Slightly. Eventually, we'll be able to afford a turkey hat. Not exactly. two, but one. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Related search. Turkey costume. 
I think we need to get you one of these. I was already Wilfred. Why not be a turkey? We do. I think we. Oh need... my god, the, that is a fat ass baby. Seriously, this baby's ready for the roaster. Yeah. All right. So here's what I want to do because of the color schemes. <laughs> it's a good turkey costume. <laughs> <laughs> because of the color schemes of the ones that are higher on the page there, which is great for the people listening. Yeah, oh, it's awesome. Is like that one at the very top there? Yes. I want to wear like a Hulk Hogan like trunks and shirt over that as well. I agree. And go as the Hulk Hogan turkey. I it, it kind of looks like porn star Hulk Hogan. I got it. I got it. Huh. I want a turkey suit, I guess. Yeah. And it dresses a pimp so I can be a jive turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I will allow this. <laughs> So, so if you uh, buy stuff through Amazon, you can help Tony achieve his goal of being yes, a jive turkey. Yes, I want to be a jive turkey. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need to start a wish list. We really do. Jesus. Especially for the random searches we do on Amazon. We're always like, oh, my God, look at that. Yeah. You know? It would be a very eclectic wish list. Yes, it would. Uh, for a little cost of 22 and 3 cents, we can get a f- novelty fleece turkey costume. <laughs> It must be high quality. I'm sure well. it's awesome. Yeah. One size fits most. That's what that would probably yeah, say. Yeah, right. Oh, but not, is, not here in America. I was going to say, this is America, damn <laughs> yeah, it. exactly. Land of the big. One size fits most, you know, malnourished Asians. <laughs> Wowzer. Why do they have to be Asians? Are you trying to... Because they're small people, Brian. It's already too late to break last week's uh, racist record. That's true. I was going for the... the I was, I'm trying to be the Hussein Bolt of racist jokes, you apparently. Almost, <laughs> you almost have to open the show with one to beat last week. <laughs> <laughs> you fired that one out pretty quick last week. You know, what's week. funny is, you know, I'm getting these random tweets saying that. Yeah. I don't remember doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I listened to the show two more times, and I don't remember it. So it must have been either terrible or just so under, you know, maybe it's just, maybe I just said it. I even know I was yeah, joking. My, my it's part of my lexicon. <laughs> I figure I don't remember it because I'm just used to it. Ah, good point. Right? Yeah, it didn't exactly. stand out. I was like, yeah, whatever. It's like, ah, oh, there's dad beating mom again. Yeah. <laughs> Back to watching cartoons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when you're a kid, it's a shame. When you're right. like 40, it's like, come on, do something about it. That's true. And stop watching cartoons. Dude, it's fun. They're, they're terrible, though. They are terrible. They're not. There's Boomerang. Some, there's some good ones. The Hub. Yeah, you're right. If you want to watch the old ones. Old ones hey. like Tex Avery ones? I don't know if they go back that old. <laughs> yeah, probably they, like 3 in the morning they probably they do. They might. I doubt you it, know? though. That's old. Maybe swig back some more liquid speed. Yay! You know? Oof. Remember, kids, don't do drugs. Abuse them. <sighs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, our lawyers force us to say Are you doers or not? <laughs> <laughs> you a doer or a quitter? What sounds better? Cutter. Cutter. All right. Cutter. Is that a Kiss song? That's a strutter. Oh. I told you, dude, it's going to be a weird podcast. <laughs> are are we doing min- the pod goddammit again? <laughs> I'm on minimal sleep and high amounts of caffeine and low mang, <laughs> so I'm all fired up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. So um, yes. I hear you have a story for for the kids at home. I do. I don't you said you had something about an old lady you wanted oh, to talk Oh, I can't tell it now. We got oh. wait for we got wait for our third no, co-host I, to show up. I actually think it'd be funnier to tell it now. It would be funny to do it now, but then it'd be breaking my word. And it's like that's a not scar- really because she's got to listen. She'll listen to the show because she's an ego maniac. But then it, be, it becomes a Scarface thing, you know. All I got is my word and my balls, and I'll that's break true. it for anybody. That's true. All right, right. you know, dick. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I thought you'd do anything for comedy. Guess oh. you won't do that. Hey, fair Fucking enough. Meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you hear him singing no. America the Beautiful or whatever? No. <gasps> was he eating while he was doing Dude, it? Dude, hold on. He's saying it for Romney, if this makes you feel better. Mm. You got to hear this nonsense. Why I can't. You... Here, here, take the wheel while I find this. Like, why would you want, I don't know. I don't know why you would want Meatloaf doing anything but reprising his role as Bitch Tits at this point. <laughs> his name is Paul something or other. Sure, Bitch Tits. <laughs> Meatloaf Romney. Sounds like a great recipe. <laughs> My mother used to make this meatloaf Romney. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Uh, it's probably going to be bad. Oh, my God. Listen. Yeah. Everybody sing. America. America. Is that Roseanne? America. Looks like it. Sounds like it. Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't heard this. That sounds like me drunk. <laughs> Look at Robbie. It's like, oh jeez. He's like, someone shoot this asshole. You know, credit to Robbie for being able to smile through that, though. Yeah, really. That's got to be tough. 
to not just punch meatloaf right in the fucking turkey neck. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> He's so good. Holy <laughs> Jesus. <that's laughs> oh my god. Uh, the, the, the title for video sums it up. Meatloaf serenades, not very well. <laughs> Mitt Romney. <laughs> oh my God, I feel bad for dude, him. I can't believe you've never heard that. No, I don't know how I haven't either. Oh, it just you know happened me, earlier this week. It was I terrible. Am a meatloaf fishing. Well, of course, you know, Paradise by the Dashboard <laughs> Lights as he drives into a tree. Hopefully, <laughs> I've never liked meatloaf uh, unless, I, well, unless it's a delicious, delicious meal. Do you know what that sounded like to me? Uh, it sounded like a cat getting caught in a <laughs> trash compactor. It sounded like microwave meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> right in the garbage. <laughs> What's that you say? <laughs> Trash can? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I love oh, telling inside, so inside jokes. <laughs> that's so inside. So inside you got brushed off the plate. Yeah, you got Yeah. Go and brush your shoulders off. Come on, Jay-Z. I know it is, Jay-Z. All right. All right. So so nothing? You got no stories for the week? Nothing Not to like talk that. about? We, we, you know, crazy Halloween party, lots of drinking. That's pretty standard, though, really. Yeah, that summed it up pretty well, Um yes. Growler Thursday was a hit again, mm-hmm. but people are like, "What the fuck is that?" Unless you follow me on Twitter, that's right. So you know, or a, or they know what growlers are. A, yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's a cheap ass beer. Yeah, yeah, you know, that was a hit. Found a new place. Uh, I got nothing. How about yourself? Yeah. All right. Well, we're kind of we got to change up the format a little bit this. Yeah, we're a little bit this week, guys. We got to change up the format. I don't know. This may become. We'll we'll see how it goes. Yes. This might be a better way to do it, anyways. Yeah. Who knows? You know, get the garbage. <laughs> What? You all right? <laughs> but, L- little AIDS flare up there? A little, little bit, little all bit. All right, all right. Well, since you yeah, already The got... heat kicked on here, so. Exactly. My ass is warm now. It's, it's a problem. <laughs> your ass gets warm, your AIDS flares <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Food cr- <laughs> it's starting, starting to feel like food cramps again. Ugh. <laughs> but Food cramps might be the name of the episode, by the way. <laughs> Especially if we can keep putting this in all the way through. <laughs> Fair enough. Got it? That's, That's the that, goal. The, the goal is good. The goal for tonight. But um, so again, kids, tonight every time we say food cramps, drink. Since we're having a uh, a, a special a special guest coming in on Z Skype, we have to kind of change how we do shit. We didn't get into our voicemails last week because we weren't pl- really planning for it. No, we sure weren't because yeah, we that's sure that's weren't. our strength. We don't plan. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. Yeah. Team no plan. Yeah, I like that. Right. All right, so we want to do some voicemails. No, we got one on Skype. See ya. Which has no transcription, so. Sorry, kids. Uh huh. But suck a D. This is <laughs> this is from our pal uh, Monkey, off of the uh, Soda Pop talk. Oh, that's what I forgot to put in the Fall Friday. Fuck. You're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, Shout yeah. out to Soda Pop talk. He's on the show. Yeah, good good point. On. This is better than Fall Friday. Right. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk calling you. <laughs> Not really. Hello. This is a sexual voice. Movie with you <laughs> that anybody can do. Yes, yes. I watched the movie. Started out with a plumber, and this lady wanted her pipes cleaned. I didn't get through the whole movie, but it, but it got very sexual. I got hard, very hard. There was a pizza guy, and he he stuffed her face, but now with pizza. It was pepperoni. He's movie Very reviewing hard. a porn for us. <laughs> Sounds like it. Uh, uh, hey, you want to talk to Dan? Here's Dan. <laughs> oh, and, and a voice wheel from Dan. Hey guys, this is Dan from Soda Pop Talk. You just heard drunk Nolan talking there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sorry about that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so that was your uh, sexy voice uh, review of. Uh, some porn that he watched. So, talk to you guys later. All right, bravo, fellas. Yeah, amen. Bravo. Bravo. Yes. <laughs> that was very impressive. Oh, shit. That was great. Because now it all falls together. Yeah. They did their own sexy voice movie review. Yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Which up to this point has been done by Tate. Yeah. But as we've said all we've along. We've said it's open to anybody. Yeah. Call in. But the only thing we ha- we ask is you have to try to do your own, your sexiest voice. That was awesome. And that was <laughs> <laughs> that was a great drunk sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Shout out to Soda Pop Talk. Uh, uh, look them up on the... On the podcast, I believe they're on iTunes and Stitcher and all that good stuff. I believe so. Yep. I don't know. I don't use iTunes. I use Downcast because I'm a fancy gentleman. Mm-hmm. Oh. Not really. All right. Well, here, here's a, a voicemail, I think, from a lady. Hey, lady. That's in the same room as us. 
This one we missed last week because we weren't prepared. Should I transcribe this shit? It's up to you, man. I got to at least do this one because I accepted the challenge. That's, that's a damn mess. It's yeah. up to you. Ah, fuck it. Might as well. Nah, we'll just play We got a lot to get through this week. Exactly. So, so we'll just play it. But I have to do that one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll Maybe if we have a bunch, we'll just pick one. If we don't have very many, then we'll do all of them. Boom. Now yeah. you're talking. Hi, guys. It's Jen, uh, a.k.a. Dits with the Tits. I just have a quick question that's for you, and hopefully born. you can help me out here. When you start running, when it's raining outside, does it, A, help you stay drier, or B, does it make you look like an even bigger jackass for not checking the weather before you leave work? Just a thought, and maybe you guys could help me out. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Option three, only pussies run in the rain. Yep. You got to be a man and walk it. Yep. I pretend I'm uh, in the end scenes of, or towards the end of uh, Lethal Weapon when it's raining. Nice. They're yeah. sort of fighting. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a little jujitsu in the yard. Yep. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's how I get through it. So I say you just run, you don't run, you walk like a man. Now, what if you're a woman? Well, then. Walk like a man also. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Strut. Strut. Yeah. Strutta! Oh, sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, too, much, too much liquid speed and low main. long night. All right, we got another one. Uh, this is from uh, Libby from Two Funny Girls, one of the newer podcasts on the Pod God Network. Podgodsnetwork.com. I got it that time. There you go. Hey, yeah. Only took you 67 episodes. Dude. <laughs> no. It's all right. I'll screw it up next week. True. No or big li- deal. Or later. Or later. Yeah. Wait, uh, trust me, Adam, I got this. <laughs> Hi, this is Libby Marie, and I'm from the Two Funny Girls podcast, and I'm just calling to give a shout-out to Brian and Tony and just say we have a lot of fun tweeting during Extreme Cheapskates, and I hope that I can convince them to join us live tweet during Sister Wives. Boo. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I can't do Sister Wives, Libby. I'm sorry. <laughs> me either. Sorry. I can barely do Extreme Cheapskates. <laughs> I only do it because of the... The people involved. Although I do, you know, I'm kind of looking at her transcription. Mm. It says it's from the Funny Girl Supply Cat. <laughs> and she has a lot of fun tweaking, which sounds like nipple play. Hmm. <laughs> what, what's going on here? <laughs> I, I think that that should name their uh, studio if they need one. Uh, the Funny Funny Girl Supply Cat? Yes. Or, tweak, or Tweaker Studios? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, see, when I think of Tweak, I think of the South Park character. Yeah, that's the true. one that's always high in the Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, Can't button his own shirt. <clears throat> Now, you got to bear with me, people. This is a long-ass Roar! <laughs> Good call. So here we go. A little transcription. Back, the only transcription. Hey there. Hold on real quick. Roar! Before Tony really gets into the meat of this one, meat. seriously, sit down. Have, get yourself a, a drink ready. Yeah, get get your gentleman's pipe out. Yeah, get fucking Get a scotch. <laughs> put your robe on. Get by the fireplace. We, this may be the end of the podcast when he's uh, done. About halfway through the transcription, angrily throw your scotch into the fireplace. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? No. Like, just like in the movies. Yeah, but you don't waste your scotch. All right, cheap scotch. Okay, that's fine. Right. Yeah, you keep your bottle of uh, yes. fire thrown scotch. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Angry, right. tumble breaking scotch. <laughs> Damn it, I poured the wrong scotch. <laughs> all right. Uh, hey, there is salty language. There is. We're here. Yeah. So, first grade teacher, Mrs. Brooks, I was having trouble with for a wanna for students. The teacher asked, Terry, what's your problem? Harry answered, Terry and Harry, mm-hmm. I'm too smart for the first grade. My sister's in the third grade smart, and she is. I think I should be in the third grade, or third grade. Two, <laughs> Mrs. Brooks had enough. If you can carry the principal's office, holy shit, must have lift. All <laughs> Harry wanted is in it. All Harry waited in your office. The teacher split the pencil with what the situation worse. The principal told Miss Brooks he would give the boy test. Huh. <laughs> if you don't answer his questions, he was to go back to the first green behave. That's great. Harry was brought in for conditions explained to him, and he agreed to take the test. Terry was three times 39. Harry woos 65. <laughs> 636. And so it went every question the principal thought a third grader should know, but the fourth of those books, and he told her, I need the hearing of Luther the Great. Holy shit, why did I read this? The process principal let me ask questions. The principal and Harry both agreed. Too much liquid speed. Food the, cramps made you food crazy. Food cramps. The process for the cow answered pocket. <laughs> cow pocket. Cow pocket. I that guess. sounds like a terrible thing. It does. Want to talk to you man steps into Terry. Paint the pretzels for that mouth hanging open. What goes in hard and pink comes out soft and sticky bubble gum. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is the man standing up? Own does sitting down a dollar bills on the three legs? She can. Principal Strandway, what word starts with F and A OK? That means a lot of teen excitement fire truck. <laughs> what the fuck? I 
don't know. The principal breathed a sigh of relief and told the teacher. But here in the fifth grade, I got the seven questions wrong. All right. I got it. Is that the end? That's the end. Wow. I just like Teen Excitement Fire Truck. That's a good band name. It is. We are Teen Excitement Fire Truck. I kind of want to have a TV show called that. I like it. It'll be like a Japanese game show. (laughs) (laughs) Teen Excitement Fire Truck. Go. Little Hiroshiku girls running around. Perfect. Yeah. Hey there, Salty Language. So first grade teacher, Ms. Brooks, was having trouble with one of her students. The teacher asked, Harry, what's your problem? Harry answered, I'm too smart for the first grade. My sister is in the third grade, and I'm smarter than she is. I think I should be in the third grade, too. Ms. Brooks had had enough. She took Harry to the principal's office. While Harry waited in the outer office, the teacher explained to the principal what the situation was. The principal told Ms. Brooks he would give the boy a test. If he failed to answer any of his questions, he was to go back to the first grade and behave. She agreed. Harry was brought in, and the conditions were explained to him, and he agreed to take the test. Harry, what's three times three? Nine. Harry, what's six times six? Thirty-six. And so it went with every question the principal thought a third grader should know. The principal lifted Ms. Brooks and told her, I think Harry can go to the third grade. Ms. Brooks says to the principal, let me ask him some questions. The principal and Harry both agreed. Ms. Brooks asked, what does a cow have four of that I only have two of? Harry said after a moment, legs. What is in your pants that you have but I do not have? The principal wondered why she'd ask such a question. Harry answered, pockets. What does a dog do that a man steps into? Harry, pants. The principal sat forward with his mouth hanging open. What goes in hard and pink and then comes out soft and sticky? Bubble gum. What does a man do standing up? A woman does sitting down and a dog does on three legs shake hands, the principal was trembling. What word starts with an F, ends in a K, that means a lot of heat and excitement? Fire truck. (laughs) The principal breathed a sigh of relief and told the teacher, put Harry in the fifth grade. I got the last seven questions wrong. Yeah, fair enough. (laughs) I like like teen excitement fire truck better. I do too. (laughs) That was uh, our own uh, Shecky. Falsetto. Ball dropping last week. (laughs) No excuse. Nope. None. And hey, that's the end of our voicemails, Brian. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, call in next week if your favorite toothpaste. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, uh, man. All right. So uh, before we uh, take a break, at some quick point here. Break down. Um, I think I-, I wanted to mention uh, for those of you who, for some reason or other, don't that you should go check out our uh, Pod God buddies, A Little Punch Drunk. Because uh, this past week, which will be going up this coming Monday, and uh, <coughs> so it'll be, you know... About a week. Around the time of our show, so it'll yes. be fine. Then I'm not really spoiling... You Spoiler. Know. But you should go look because... Or, or go to uh, his page and find the link to his Ustream or his pictures, which is... Uh, oh, shoot, I forgot their Twitter. It's uh, A Little Punch Drunk, I believe it's, right? Yes. Like L I A L I L punch drunk. Yes. Um anyways, Rambo, the uh head of the show, uh made a meat fort to our specifications from he a few episodes certainly ago. Certainly did. And it was tremendous. Yes. <laughs> but Brian, the gauntlet's been thrown down. Has. And uh, the day after Sunday. Doesn't matter. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I will be constructing a breakfast fort in my house. Which will lead to food cramps. If yeah, you got that right. I decided Sunday because it's football Sunday. I yes. could have, if I could have a soundboard tea, help me eat it. Yeah. What? <laughs> he won't help you eat it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll, I'll be having some pictures up on the internet. Yep. So, I, yeah, I, I wanted to make sure we gave Rambo a, a good shout out there. Mm-hmm. The meat fort was spectacular. Yes. Yeah. It was. It was. And um, also, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Meat Clown Industries, who have approved us as a, uh, as a podcast. Indeed. Which is fantastic. Based on, once again. Meat approved. Yes, based on our Meat Ford episode, Mm -hmm. which, you know, has pleased a lot of people because, you know, (laughs) who doesn't love our meat? Um, It's true. Crowd pleasers, Brian. Yeah, we are. It's fine. Um, We are the meat lover special, if you will. (laughs) So um, (laughs) you can check them out. I believe it's, uh, what is it? At Ace. At the Stranger page. Yeah, on Twitter's. Yeah. I'll put a link up with our other links for it so you can have a. 
a uh, quicker way of getting there. Yeah. So, also, in case we get it wrong, because that happens occasionally. Uh, us? Never. Yes. We have microphones. We're never wrong. You're right. See? But, uh, yeah, I do appreciate that, uh, you know, they've made us meat, meat clown approved. Exactly. Cause I don't want to be a meat drone, though. <laughs> no, me either. <laughs> I definitely don't want to be a meat drone. I don't no. know what that entire, you know, what kind of things come along with I that. I can't imagine it's good. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to have to stand and pack meat all day. Although I would like to have meat drones working under me. Yes. Yeah. I agree. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like a fluffer? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> They're drones. They do what I want. <laughs> you are correct, sir. That's right. You are correct. Yes. So, all right. We got any other shout-outs we want to do here? Uh, I'm going to say shout-out to the uh, Anti-Semantic Show. Just because they reside in Staten Island, which is fucking Mad Maxville now. Oh, no doubt. You know, not just them. There was the Seventy Sixth Street Pod, uh, yeah, which yeah. it looks like uh, the one guy may have uh, lost. I don't know if he lost total, like all of his house or part of it, but which is some mad suckage. Yeah, so send those guys out some love because yeah. uh, Sandy fucked their world. Yeah. You know? Yeah. To the anti. That's all right though. Marathon's going to be going on this weekend. No, no, they canceled it. Oh, did they cancel yeah. it after all the protesting? Yeah. Hey, look, pristine generator sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. Oh, good thing no they canceled shit. it. Yeah. Let's divert a bunch of power and in, in time yeah. to running a fucking race rather yeah. than saving people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, good, that's a good move on their part. Although I'm sure anti semantic will have plenty to say on yeah, this. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to hear it whenever yeah. they do a podcast next. Yeah. About how they got pegged by Sandy. No? <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yeah, there you go. Much love to our New York homies. Yes, exactly. All right. Got anything else? Nope. All right. Well, I think we're going to take a break, and we'll come back sexier than we left you. Is that possible? Meat cramps. Meat cramps. Not food cramps. I just upgraded it. Yeah, it's like meat sweats. <laughs> That's the next step. <laughs> followed by the meat cramps. Then meat seizure. Oh. <laughs> and then gravy. Then gravy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right or back. death. Either yeah, way. Or death, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oof. Welcome to a little punch drunk. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! What's in the pie? What's in the pie? What the fuck is what's in the pie? What did I mean when I said what's in the? They get hooked on the show and then they salivate. So not fair! Aunt Flo just cursed me. Eat the meat and grind their bones to make my bread. Got it. I'm going in dry. So if you're in Orlando and would like to fuck Phoenix, uh, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? It's true what they say, the camera really does add two cup sizes. But the majority of our day was spent very happily staring at boobs and touching boobs. I have to pee. It's time to crack a cold one because this is A Little Punch Drunk. You can find us at a alittlepunchdrunk.podbean.com. And check us out on Twitter at A-L-I-L Punch Drunk. You can also check us out throughout the week on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash a little punch drunk. And remember, kids, buy our shit. You can find it at cafepress.com forward slash a little punch drunk, where you can find your punch drunk merch along with the Pod Gods Network. And if you'd like to catch the live video broadcast every week, Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, go to ustream.tv forward slash channel forward slash a little punch drunk. And as well, if you'd like to call in or just leave us a drunken voicemail, you call 484 994 ALPD. Or 484-994-2573. Did we? Yeah. I, I, I was like saying goodbye to many, it or something. She huh? didn't do it, and I was like, I'm disappointed in you. How many times have I said, Brian, I don't remember what I say? <sighs> I know. Yeah? I know. All right. Well, we're back, and I have to uh, – the first thing I have to say is that I got the podcast wrong from the first part of the show where I said that someone lost their house in the hurricane because I'm a sensitive bastard like that. Very. Um. I said that it was a 76th Street podcast, which is not even close to correct. It's actually the parking lot pod that uh, lost some of their homes. So, so, uh, send them some love. Yeah. yeah. You can send 76th Street pod some love, too. I don't care. I, I guess you're right. right. Yeah. They send right. us love, so it's fine. But, yeah. yeah. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> not I've openly admitted I'm an asshole. That's Damn fine. Well, are we diving headfirst in the news here, kids? Yeah. Do you got anything that we usually bullshit, you know, in the first half? This is what we do. Do you have anything that fancy happened to you this week? Um, no, not really. That's not helpful. The, All right, then. The <laughs> shitty 
field trip. That's it. <laughs> shitty. F- oh, I remember seeing that on the Twitter machine. The shitty yeah. field trip to, was it the pumpkin patch? Yeah. Was it's there, awful. Did you, did you enjoy cider and donuts? No. Then it's awful. Wow. <laughs> that, that is a <laughs> shitty pumpkin patch. It's the only reason to go. I agree. Well, or to buy pumpkins for pie. True. I They're, got a pie pumpkin, but I... A? I don't know. It's just sitting on the count. Oh, you got to rock that shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She what? said A. That's true. One? Singular? Yeah. Well, we have like five on the porch, like five, five different kinds. So oh, all right. Only one. All right. She's also not making pie for us. That's true. So. <laughs> Pumpkin, all the things. Yeah. Oh, otherwise, she would need more pie. Multiple pies yep. or pumpkins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> multiple pies. Yes. Mm-hmm. Multiple pies. Whatever. All right. Yeah. All right, fine. Well, well, I'm sure everybody heard this news that cunt of a company, Disney, <laughs> bought Lucasfilm. And, well, not that, you know, they're, my child's already been raped by Star Wars and George Lucas. You said childhood, right? Childhood. Okay. I did not pick up the hood when you said it. <laughs> it was just my child. Yes. You know, these things happen. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. That's uh, what I thought you said, too. Kind of a weird wow. thing to admit on a podcast, but all right. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Guess what, everyone? <laughs> hey, guys. Guess what happened to me this week? <laughs> Lots of diddling. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, it happens. So in addition to owning everything else, now Disney owns Star Wars. What's your take on that, Brian? They own Lucasfilms, not just Star Wars. Well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I haven't read. Do they get all the other shit with it? Like, uh... I think it's... <laughs> It's mostly just the Star Wars, oh, okay. like, universe. Because he owns a lot of, like... Other shit? Yeah. Yeah. Because if so... I He's going to own even more for $4 billion or whatever Jesus it is. Jesus Christ, I know. You know what you can buy with $4 billion? Anything you want? Wizard Tower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you certainly can buy a Wizard Tower. Or a Meat Fort. Or a Meat Fort mm-hmm. with a Wizard Tower. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know Life-size it's fun- Meat Fort. Li- exactly. Exactly. Delicious. <laughs> You're going to have to get to eating quick, though. I build it in Antarctica, so it's perfect. <laughs> get hungry, just carve off a chunk of the wall, throw it on the grill. Oh, okay. I was going to yeah. say it'll be frozen, though. Nah, it's fine. All right. A little frost burn doesn't hurt anybody. Okay. So, $4 billion, though. You know what that means? Disney's going to make so much Star Wars shit to try to pay that back. Yeah. It's going to be off the charts. I love it. No, you don't. I do. Well, okay, first of all, I... I I don't know if I've ever admitted this on the podcast. I'm really not a Star Wars geek. That's true. I've never been a huge fan of it. Right, so, right, right. Like I don't hate it, but I've never been a big fan. Right. So, it this I'm not. I, I didn't get all butt hurt like a lot of people did. A lot about of, this. Well, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, know, you know, growing up. Well, you're you're, you're a little younger us too. So I got you know we all came up as kids with Star Wars. Yeah, back in the hood, right? Yeah, back in the hood, back in the day. Yeah, back in the we, hood. Well, our crew came up before I Boo got, got shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And uh before we made it. Yes. And you know, I loved Star Wars as a kid. Mm-hmm. And I remember when the, the the next trilogy came out and it took a dump all over I the was, chest. And I was I was one of those guys that was all fired up like at the theater for the mm-hmm. first day for the first movie. Mm-hmm. You know, walking in with my dick hard ready to go. <laughs> like, yeah, Star Wars. And you're all dressed up. <laughs> well, I didn't go that far. He <laughs> wasn't he wasn't dressed up. Sure, I, I wasn't one of the sure. turns lightsaber fighting sure. in the aisle. Well, He's, not at first. Thank you there, guys. That was going on. It was. Oh, God. Yeah. I remember working at Hollywood Video across the street when that got released, and they had, they were re, or it got released at the theater across the parking lot, and I could see the fucking yeah, lightsabers. Like, oh, is that Obi Wan? Who Ugh. is it? Yeah. 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 I but, was just hoping for a fire. And it got shed on, and then the next movie came out, and that was even worse. And then the third one came, or whatever. That was even worse. Now they're talking Star what? Wars Seven. I love the. Third one. I, the third Wait, one was. It? Yeah, it wasn't for me. Really? It, it was, I actually thought that was the only one worth watching. I mean, he did kill the younglings. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> but you know, it was it was like ugh, I just didn't like whiny Anakin until he got his legs burned off. I guess. But you were okay with whiny Luke. Luke's he, a bitch, dude. He, he was a bitch in, oh, in, bitch. in, in, in bitch. episode four. He was a bitch. Dude, he's a bitch. Three, four, and five. No, the other two, yeah, he became bitch. a hard ass. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, he made out with his sister. <laughs> Doesn't get harder oh, than that. Well. <laughs> you would know sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do you think know. of this uh, this mess? 
Who, me Tate or Tate? No, her. Tate, what do you think of this I don't give a shit what you think. You know what I think about it. It's evil. Mm. I don't give a fuck, really. I don't understand why he sold it, but... Four billion? <laughs> well, he's already got... Well, dude, he's, he's got, got like, so much money. money already. Yeah. What's he going to do with that much money? As I said once Have before... Have even more money? He has compound money and fuck you money. Yes, he does. <laughs> so, yeah. Money is not wise. Right. I, I guess during the proposal, part of what sold it was that Disney had the plan for episode seven. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. They were like, hey, we're going to make episode seven. And he was like, I love it. You want to do a little George? <laughs> I, don't remember how, I don't remember how he said it. I, I love the idea for episode seven. That Is that how he did his yes. voice? I don't remember anymore. Yes. <laughs> like Sean Connery? <laughs> what was that? He's like fat Sean Connery, right? Yeah, yeah with the little like non-existent chin, that big poof thing here. That's hair. <laughs> it, I, don't, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't either. Yeah. But, uh, no, I mean. I'm not excited for a seven, especially made by Disney. So yeah, it's uh, not the, the counter. The counter argument to it has been that you know Disney acquired Marvel and then made the Avengers. Right. You know. So that's true. It, but you know, here's how. I, at first, when I first heard, I was like, "Son of a bitch," but then you know, it's like. Star Wars is kind of like that old busted whore <laughs> that they just put new makeup on every once in a while it's and true. just shuttle it out to get that galactic puss pounded. Right. You know? And you're first in line. Not this time. You will be. Don't you're lie. probably. No, I'm, I will because I have Logan. Yes. And he loves it. Star Wars. Right. So what sure. can I do? Kids. Uh-huh. Kids. Well, I didn't. I just watched the Avengers and I didn't think it was that great. I have not seen it yet. I stink. I'll oh, agree with half well, of what I you mean, said. I mean, I thought, like, the Iron Man movies were a lot better than the Avengers. I, I will say, I think the Iron Man movies are the best I, of the I Marvel like movies. I like Captain America. That was really good. Mm. I haven't watched that yet. I, it's on I my think, Netflix queue. Hey. I think you kind of really got to be into Captain America to That's true. really like the movie. Thor I, was... don't, I didn't like him in the Avengers. I thought he was an asshole. He was bothering me. You might not like the Captain America movie. Day. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna. I don't know. There were a couple really funny parts to me. It but was, again, you know, kind it of was worth it. Yeah. What's his name? Is it, uh, Red Skull? Is pretty good. Agent Smith. Hugo Weaving. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just know it. Uh, you do. It's one of the few things I actually knew without having to look it up. <laughs> me, it's Agent Smith or the Elf guy from Lord of the Rings. Cause yeah. He's in that too. I don't remember his name in that. Neither do I. Yeah. Elf guy. I Legolas. Know. No, Legolas is the arrow uh, dude. I know. Okay. You said elf guy. Everyone will think of a Legolas. For sure. All right, fair enough. Okay. I don't know. I just know there's going to be. I'm going to see fucking Bluto as Darth Vader and Luke as Luke. Oh god, Mickey as Luke, and I don't know what Han is. The stupid dog whose name eludes me currently. Han is the stupid dog. You know what I'm talking about Pluto Goofy? or Goofy. Well, either way, it's going to suck. <laughs> 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 but yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. I think, yeah, I think deep down inside I am a little butt hurt. Yeah. I, I don't think it's deep down inside, but, you know, whatever you like <laughs> is what you like. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I, apparently, for all my hurting, I want it deep. <laughs> <laughs> Tony only likes like, the hurt from Lucas if it's deep. Bleeding for days deep. deep. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like bleeding for days deep. Yes, bleeding for days, mm-hmm. yes. Vigorous. Uh, aggressive fingering. You know, vigorous. <laughs> Vigorous, sir. Vigorous, vigorous. Yes. Where's the coke? Oh, <laughs> God. My, my hand jackhammer here. Ah, exactly. yeah. All right, let's move on. All right, yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is another geek story. It's right up Tony and I's alley here. Uh, friendship, money, and greed meet in Magic the Gathering fantasy card game. That's not the story here. The story, I don't know what the fuck. Hey, Tate, you want to guess what state this came from? Florida. I hey, think. big winner. We need sound effects. No, she's little. Oh. Um, William Cormier, 31, is accused of beating uh, Dugas to death August 27th in his home in Pensacola. Dugas? Yeah. I love that Ramstein song. Oh, my. I knew you were going to do that. (laughs) Oh, my God. That was not good. Yeah. It was terrible. I know. It was really bad. You should apologize for that. Every once in a while, you got to just smash into the ground. Your joke was bad, and you should feel bad. I do feel bad. Um, No, I don't. (laughs) Dugas' cards valued at somewhere between $25,000 and $100,000. Holy hell. What did he have? Power, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, ultimately were sold in, uh, Georgia and ten- Pensacola, Georgia and Tennessee. I was waiting for you to drop a Tennessee. I'm shocked. Uh, Dugas's body was taken in Winder, Georgia or Winder, Georgia, whatever. I don't care. Dugas uh, beach. 
was Sorry. found October 8th, buried in a plastic container and the blah, blah, whatever. Anyways, so this one dude gets killed because he has anywhere from 25,000 to 100,000 in Magic the Gathering cards. Right, right. See, this is why I never was one to be like, dude, I've got all this shit. Look at me with the power, guys. Not just magic, anything. Yeah, I hear you. No matter what I, you know, happen to acquire in life, I'm not, I don't like to run around bragging about it. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there he goes. Says he had a black yes. lotus estimated at a value of ten thousand dollars. Brian, wow. those went up since we had a shop. Apparently, Jesus. shit. Yeah, shit. exactly. Dude, those serious. these are just like playing cards, right? Yeah. Yep, they sure are. But like the ones that he had are, are super rare. They're super rare and hard to find in any sort of good condition. So that it, and they weren't. The big reason they went up is because they're not. Um, they never printed them over in Europe. And Japan and whatnot, and those areas have kind of turned into hotbeds from for the game. Exploded, if you will. Yes, all over. <laughs> mm -hmm. So some okay. asshole kills this guy. It, you know, normally these kind of stories are like so and so <laughs> kills someone over like a pack of gum. Yes. Like again, we had a baseball card shop in top town where a guy got killed for seventy five dollars. Yes. It was a long time ago. But... Or the the story out of Detroit we talked about a little while ago about the Kool Aid stand shooting. Yes. Yeah. What? Kool -Aid what the Kool Aid stand? Uh, uh, one, there was an argument that broke out on a block that one guy's Kool Aid was better than the other guy's Kool Aid, and then they started shooting. Shit oh, got no. real. <laughs> yep. Luckily, that's, neither that's Tony. Legit. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Too legit to quit, even. Oh, dude, oh, I'm on. I got. I gotta get some sleep, oh, but I'm not because I'm all <laughs> fucking hopped up on Rockstar. Oh, gee. you are not a rock star tonight. I'm tweaking right now. I need oh, to go dang. home and drink some beer for some landing gear. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're like a roadie for a local band that can't get laid, dude. That's what's going on right now. That's how you're coming across. You want to get to the band, you got to get for me. <laughs> That's all right. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll go clean up the guitar. You're killing us, man. <laughs> you're like, I have a water bed at home. Yeah. It's heated. <laughs> and my, mo my mom sleeps on half, but you can have the other half. <laughs> and it's a twin. Let's go. <laughs> Do you oh, like man. Star Wars? Because that's totally my sheets. <laughs> and my posters. <laughs> and my posters, yeah. yes. <laughs> I, I, like... got a, I got a Millennium Falcon hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I like to bang chicks while Chewbacca watches. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> what? Chewbacca's my stepdad. He's real furry. <laughs> <laughs> I got people asking me questions. You guys got room for one more? That, that's exactly the question I just got. Oh, what? Are you guys Skyping? I'm like negative. Settle we're, down. We're full. Full up, kids. Yep. Airtight. Airtight. Maybe next time. Aw, sorry. Well, we could take more, but, you know, that means we have to pay for uh, premium Skype. Who wants that? Yeah. Fuck that. I don't know. Good call. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Killing over magic. Somehow it doesn't surprise me. Keep people get all uh, bent out of shape about this game. I know. It's funny, like everyone we've known has had their cards stolen like once. Yes, exactly. You know, and it's like you, you don't have to kill somebody. Most magic players are stupid and leave their shit laying around. Right. You could probably Well, steal. that's what the article says later. That like theft is common but murder is you know <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, this is actually the first time I've ever heard of someone getting killed over their magic cards. We're not talking like Jordans or something here. So <laughs> maybe the magic cards were stuffed inside of Jordans. Mm. Well, probably not. Having another guess. I'm not. Stop texting me. I'm podcasting. I'm not texting. Damn it, Road. Oh. All right. So uh, this next story creeps me out a little bit. Just by the first quote. And of course, well, hold on. You, you, we have to identify who sent this one in. So this was sent in by a listener. Oh, this is wasn't this our own uh, official ginger? Yes. No, no, no. Personal ginger. Personal ginger. Yes. Yes, of course. Because he's been renamed. Yes, the personal ginger, who is the brewmaster, and now I hear he's the digger, which sounds slightly racist, maybe. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but I, I was actually... I what I, I said? Yeah, you called them diggers. <laughs> yeah, diggers. I was, actually, I was actually thinking that it doesn't... Well, I mean, it does sound racist, but... That it's no, more. It's, that it's more. No. Than, well, she established last time she's racist. Because so he's one of but, those people. No, oh, no, no. Tony did with the Mike and I. You're thing. the one that you attacked China in the last one. <laughs> Who doesn't? It's on record. They you have, can't deny They it. have billions of people. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, I know. But <laughs> anyways, what I thought of the. They're too smart to listen to me anyway. Exactly. So you can't. You have to make fun of them a whole, as a whole because they all look the same. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Yellow pinatas for Tony. 
<laughs> so <laughs> I thought the nickname actually makes him sound like he lacks in personal hygiene. That like he's be. like he's um Tyrone Biggums or something. He's just constantly scratching from all his, you know, crack needs. Mm, I like it. Yeah. But but I figured DPD, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. DPD. <laughs> Donkey Punch Diggity. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, that's because he new... seemed to be obsessed with the donkey punch he part did. of uh, Seven Days of Geek. So he's officially donkey punch diggity for now. Maybe for a long time. Maybe. Now depends diggity, if he's good or not. Well, and again, diggity, since you always change your name, if you don't change your name, I will tell you, you are in line for a major demotion. Oh boy, <laughs> it won't be good. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, now let's get to the story. What is what? with the volume? The is hell that you. Is that our third mic getting crazy over there? She's not talking. This isn't helping. It's not mine. Oh, okay. I'm hearing shit then. <laughs> no, I hear it too. It's got to right. be yours, Tony. It's not, what the fuck am I doing? Well, your shit was playing through the computer, remember? Oh, no, nah, that's probably not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Every so other time something plays, it plays through your computer. This time, nah, not well, you. See, this is actually good because normally I would use this line on you because you're the only person here. Because oh. it's Tate's here. I'm going to use it on her. Good. Hey, Tate. Can I beam you up for a conversation? Tacky hands. Ugh. No. Good call. That's the exact right answer there. No shit. Trekkie dating site is pretty much exactly as it sounds. Horrible? Horrible. Uh, that is the one that flirts you can send to clingy Klingons. <laughs> yeah. A new dating website for Star Trek fans who wish to live, love, and prosper. Ugh. The problem with this site is that means they're going to reproduce. My problem is that all the girls are Klingons. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> They are some butt ugly people. Yeah. Just or board saying. cubes. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, so love, no. boxes. <laughs> love boxes. Love boxes. Hey, you. Uh, da, da, da. It's free to sign up, make a profile, blah, blah, blah. Send 40 bucks. Who cares? Send longer messages. You must upgrade to premium, which costs $25. Yada, yada, yada. That's really cheap. Well, I guess. Well, I don't know, man. Oh, God. What? Oh, this is a pickup line. Oh, you must have been shot with phaser set to stunning. Oh. oh my. No, no, no. Why'd you skip the first box? <laughs> because I would, he does this okay. all the time. I, I skip stories. around. Do I, well, go ahead. Have at it. You got it in front of you. No, no, no. no do it. Come on. Do no. it. Do it. Do it a bit. Do it a bit. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read all of them. But, do like, it. the first one says, Nothing seduces me like a man who speaks Vulcan. Let's talk over a cup of rock and jock. Whatever that is. <laughs> That's diarrhea in a cup. That is probably oh, food cramps. <laughs> oh, looking for a nerd to call my own? It's not that bad. Oh, it's terrible. Stop it. How about No, it's not. It's terrible. I like nerds. I'm searching the galaxy for my lieutenant commander data. That's uh, bad. That is terrible. Uh, what? You know, a fuckbot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. From, from Japan. Oh. <laughs> probably. You would know. Loving you makes me feel logical. Ugh. I hope Ugh. everyone who signs up to the site dies. AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> Full-blown airborne AIDS. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, they they log in, their computer just explodes <laughs> shrapnel in their face. Yes. Did you just put an extra... Wow, I just failed. Never mind. What? Wow. You, that petered out. <laughs> it sounded like you said shrapnel. Shrapnel? Yeah, like no. you put an extra E in it. No, no, no. no. All right. I don't know what product this is. You do is. know I'm, a, I'm listening to this episode again. Right, well, if you did, I'm going to put a bit in there going, see, I fucking told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. This is terrible. I hate to. Okay, I got to look at some comments. How about, can I triple you for a chat? Hey? Uh, no. <laughs> is that a triple between your legs? <laughs> or, Hot. Hot. <laughs> or is it no shave November? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. You have to say what the trouble it means. <laughs> no, we don't. It nah. doesn't make any sense to everybody else. That's their problem. Yeah, exactly. Google here's nice, it. Here's a nice quote. See? <laughs> it's more like, nice costume. Can I tell you what a vagina feels like? <laughs> <laughs> nice comment. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so... So do they allude to, like, the Vulcan whatnot as, like, the shocker of the site? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, right. exactly. Let me give you the old Vulcan uh, I'm gonna, nerve pinch. Yes, I'm going to nerve pinch <laughs> your <Yeah>. clitoris. Because <laughs> it's Vulcan. you got to be all... Right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, naturally. Oh, man. There we go. Let's okay. to that. All right. Uh, moving on. i got to get Please. out of this area. Please. This region. <laughs> Please. Oh, this is a good one. This is a naughty boy. You got this one, Brian? Let me get this one. Nah, 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 nah. 
All right. Nah. Some kid, probably some dummy, got tased by a cop during career day. <laughs> what was the kid doing, being a career as a criminal? <laughs> the cop just lit him up. The only black kid in class. <laughs> of course. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Uh, New Mexico cop shot a 10-year-old. Oh, wait, sorry. He's, huh? This is New Mexico. There's no chance. Clearly a Mexican, yeah. yeah. Uh it's a 10-year-old student in chess with a 50,000-volt taser gun yeah. during career day visit to the boys' school. An accident? How is it an accident? <laughs> you can keep reading. All right. Uh, the result of the officer's brief suspension and rigor. Blah, 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 blah. Child's hit a taser probes or a demonstration or his group. Uh, I just want the meat of the story here. There we go. While Webb claimed the taser accidentally discharged, the victim's lawyers charged. Too much charge. Charge. Uh, charge. Say charge again. That Ooh. the cop was recklessly charge. joking around with students when the boy was struck with two electrified bobs. Uh, where, where we ask a group of students who would like to clean his patrol car. It actually says patrol unit. Yeah, he's, hey like, boys. he's like, take your shirt off and use <laughs> exactly. that. Grab the sponge and clean up uh. my unit. Uh, well, a group of boys <laughs> say... Frisky at first. Same pop as last time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> clean my car and then I'll vigorously <laughs> finger you. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the coke? <laughs> it's in the vending machine. Well, a group of boys said they would victimly identify it as... Boo! Boo! Boo to the jokes of garbage! Uh, Juggly said he did not want to clean a patrol unit. In response, Webb alleg- allegedly pointed his taser at the boy and said, Let me show you what happens to people who do not listen to the police. <laughs> He then fired his taser. I'm sure that's completely within regulation. <laughs> I'm sure it is, yeah. too. <laughs> uh, I can't believe he was only briefly suspended for that. Like, you don't point that at somebody unless you're really going to shoot them with yeah. a taser. I'm pretty sure that's the first rule of any weapons use is don't point it yeah. at anyone unless you intend to use it. Uh, well, sir, it says he contended he first removed the taser cartridge before showing the weapon to the group of students. <laughs> Clearly. However, he later removed it from the holster, not realizing like, he put the cartridge back in, and <laughs> accidentally discharged, hitting the boy directly in the chest. Five. Okay, oh. so again, weapon safety tells you that you check that kind of shit, correct? Yeah, I mean, while on. aiming at a child, Yeah, <laughs> of course. Well, even if, like, like a gun or anything, even if it's not loaded you don't point it at that's people. what i'm saying yeah you wouldn't uh... but this guy's just horse around he's having a good time no uh, wait horse play <laughs> yeah horse play. um <laughs> uh so your five second jolt from the weapon knocked the boy to the ground where he was blacked out the child was left with scars resembling cigarette burns on his chest that was because he just didn't listen at all sweet he can tell everyone he was in <laughs> twilight <laughs> or that uh and really we that's really all we really need from this story yeah to be fair. How, how old was the kid? Ten. He's ten. Old enough to get tased. Mm-hmm. Perfectly old enough, yeah. Yeah. In fact, he probably had it coming. He, I'm sure he you did. Know? That's what happens when you back talk. Yeah. I need a taser. Shit. Keep no, my kids in you, line. You do not need a taser. You're right. I'd be, uh, be having some fun with that. You, I yeah. totally said I needed a taser earlier. Did you? Yep. Why, why did you need a taser yeah. earlier? For a good reason. Well, because well, I was, you know, I'm by myself, but, but also because... People block the aisles when they're shopping. Perfect. See, I totally agree with that. Cause I agree. Ed drives me batshit. Exactly. Yeah. Either that or you just need a bag full of, like, cobras you can just throw people. Yeah? And she's cobras. little. It's tough to carry a bag of cobras. Okay. Small cobras. <laughs> Baby cobras. <laughs> Small cobras. I, she keeps them in cages so they can only grow so big and shit. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. Exactly. It's perfect. That's cages. You don't keep cobras in cages. <laughs> Why not? Because they get out between the bars. Yeah, duh. <laughs> That's the worst cobra cage ever. Well, they're small. <laughs> it's true. God damn it. I can barely handle my dog. Like, I'm not having cobra. <laughs> okay, fine. No cobras. <laughs> it's only because All you right. love your dog so much. Hey, more electricity time. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saudi wedding deaths. 23 electrocuted as cel- yeah, celebratory gunfire at Saudi nuptials cut cable. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> Gun fired a wedding party in eastern Saudi Arabia on Tuesday night, brought down an electric cable, killing 23 people, a local civil defense official said. At the wedding, the cable fell on a metal door, and the 23 people who died were all electrocuted. Wait, were they standing on the door? I mean, how does this work? A photograph of the aftermath of the accident, published on local newspapers' websites, which is great, of course, showed a large courtyard strewn with fallen chairs and a pole in the middle supporting cables carrying light bulbs. All those killed were from the same tribe. No one cares. Um, Saudi Arabia banned the shooting of firearms at weddings, a popular tradition in tribal areas of the conservative Islamic kingdom last month. They just banned it last month? <laughs> yeah. You'd think that'd be something banned a while ago. Why? Good point. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love that. Yeah, Eastern Province Governor uh, Prince Mohammed bin Fad ordered an investigation into the incident. Why? I agree. Clearly, it was. That's just natural selection. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't think they believe in that. I, I, I'm surprised they had electricity, to be honest. Oh, come on now. <laughs> yeah, I know. They got <laughs> oil money. Yeah. Oil, did you say oil, oil money? They certainly did. Yeah. <laughs> I just all think right. it's hilarious. Like, I don't understand why firing. I mean, what, all of a sudden we're in the south or something? It's like, woo! And, like, firing it off like <laughs> your, Yosemite Sam or something. Yeah, I, I don't understand either. Mm-hmm. Well, didn't you see that um, it was on Tosh, like, one or two seasons ago where the dad got shot by the kid um, at like a Middle Eastern wedding. Cause they, he like put the gun on the table or something in the kid. Oh, I do remember that. Dad. I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you. That must be weddings and guns must go hand in hand though in the Middle East, I, I guess. guess. So. Yeah. Who hmm. knew? Time to, time to start rocking that tradition here. I'm going to start taking a handgun to every wedding I go to. Hey, why not? Just got to be a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Take like a muzzle loading flintlock <laughs> pistol. Oh, I, I was thinking a full musket. <laughs> oh, well, why not? <laughs> like, give me a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Ugh. Gotta celebrate. Yeah. Ugh. Also, bring my old tiny camera where they have to sit for an hour. <laughs> You're underneath the hood. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ugh. I like it. Oh, trick or treating time, guys. This is what I don't need, liquid speed. Yeah. Uh, UK man, Adam, charge after children <laughs> given trick-or-treat cocaine bags. You, what the hell happened there? That was uh, weird. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> police in Northern England were called to investigate this week after children were out trick-or-treating for Halloween and given small snap-top bags of what turned out to be cocaine. Yeah. You know, if you're going to give something good, Seriously. you know, king-size bar, bag of coke, what do you want here? Yeah. Right? They should be giving us some teeth brushes. You got that right. <laughs> Jesus. Some dentist Isn't appointments. Kit for braces. <laughs> <laughs> Invisalign's for everyone. Uh, the bags containing white powder were given to the police after handed to the children Wednesday evening in the small town of Royton, Greater Manchester. Police said in a statement, uh, testing from the contained cocaine, and a man and a man yes. was arrested. <laughs> Donald Junior Green. I really want Junior to have air or quotes around it. Donald just, Junior yeah, Green, uh, right? Just has been charged with drug possession is due before the magistrate's court in Oldham near Manchester on Friday. A 21 year old woman was arrested on suspicion of drug possession was later released without charge. Uh, police Superintendent Catherine Hanks has said the parents and police acted quickly and report was made in the interest of public safety. Yeah, we understand this isolated incident. Blah blah blah. There were some parents that didn't react as quick, I'm sure. Yeah, right. Here's here's a question. Do you think any of it had uh, razor blades in it? Oh, well, you got to have something to chop up, mm-hmm. right? Well, he's not going to give out credit cards. That's true. Right. Well, come maybe on. someone else's. <laughs> ah, there's a perfect coin. Nose candy. Exactly. Oh, uh, come on. Boo. Jeez. One kid's dad. This smells like Coke. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right? It's better. <laughs> Yeah, I got one person no. going. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? I know. Like, Jingle how keys. Is, unless he had more, how was he charged with possession? Because it was all gone. Yeah. That's true. I don't know. I, I want to know the motivation. I want to know why he just decided. <laughs> I, I like, agree. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to give it. Like, it's like an hour before trick or treating. He's like, fuck, I don't have any candy. Maybe he knew ah. he was going to get busted. It was like, I'll just pass out these kids. That's They'll get probably, ready for me. <laughs> that's probably more likely. Yeah, I know. Oof. Hmm. He should have just put it out in front of his house or something and it just took off. <laughs> that way he couldn't get caught. There's always little bags of Coke and a pumpkin bucket on a yeah, stool out on his porch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's perfect. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. That'd be the most popular uh, house on the block. Hell yeah, it's shit. What'd you get? I got a full size Snickers. I got cocaine. I got Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole bucket full. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wants to go selling with me? Selling? That's some creepy shit right here, guy. Yeah, I know. Is we, uh, we would, there's a weird buzz in the background. You hear that? Yeah, whatever. A little bit, yeah. Whatevs. I don't know. That's probably me. Um, how would you like it, Tate, if your car had seats made of replicated human skin? What does replicated human skin mean? Um, like, let's find out. 
<laughs> J- Japanese car maker Nissan has upped the ante in luxury car industry. You think it'd be like a German car? <laughs> no, Japanese sounds right. Well, I'm just thinking lampshades. By trying to create a synthetic material for its automobile <laughs> interior. The 40s, are we still recording? Yeah, you know All what? Right. Hold it sounds on. goofy. Yeah, we are. All right, something sounds goofy. You're right, though. It does. Hold on. Let's stop. All right, pause. Hey, we fixed that technical difficulty. Yep. It's been a real fucked up weird podcast. Yep. Where was I? Replicated human skin in cars, guys. Yay! Yay! Uh, see here, they upped the ante for trying to create a synthetic material for its automobile interiors that would feel like skin on a human finger. Nice. Having concluded that the soft touch of a human hand is one of the most luxurious and pleasant sensory experiences. Oh, wait, Japanese? That does make sense. Japanese, rub and tug, I get it. Right. Nissan <laughs> hopes to replicate its tactile feel, clean its warmth, texture, and moistness. Ugh. Oh, nice. I don't want my fucking car seats to have swamp ass. <laughs> <laughs> With its That's all this is going to lead to, too. It is, exactly. Uh. Like, why is it so moist? Ah. <laughs> what was that? I'm shuffling in the seat. Looks like you're, like, skiing or something. <laughs> doing, I don't know. Doing cross country over <laughs> there? <laughs> With its cutting-edge artificial upholstery. Uh, while feeling the touch of another human's hand is generally an enjoyable experience, unless it's slapping you, we wonder if having a thousand fingers touch us while we sit in a car could be more than a little creepy. Wow. Yeah. Would you want a car seat that feels like human skin? That's what the thing says. Well, I mean, it's got to be nice to have a soft touch cradling your buttocks, but... Only uh, only if it's soft hands like butter. Right. <laughs> do they have a, do they have rough hands feeling available? <laughs> yes. Like Always Alex's. rubbing cocoa butter on it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do you want gentle Japanese hand or lumberjack paw? Can the seats get ashy? Well, you got to moisturize them or they do get ashy. Right. You're right. Just asking. <laughs> Just true. asking the question. These are the questions. It's like my fucking... Outdoorsy knuckles right now. Oh my! Well, that's because you're dragging them all. Old the time. fucking leather hands over here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you don't have soft hands like. No, that. I yeah. don't have smooth tactile hands like the inside of a Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Tony prefers the uh, Nissan baby hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's delightful. <laughs> so little. I don't know. I think it's a little creepy myself. I do too. Yeah. What do you think, Tate? Um, I mean, it's kind of creepy, but how would you really feel it unless you're Naked. wearing shorts or like, Naked. you know, mm. rubbing your junk all over yeah. it? Yeah. Like I always drive. Hello. Right? <laughs> Legs spread way That's open, right. so your balls one, are dipping. One, hang, one leg yeah. hanging out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying this tactile feel. Like, check it out. I can put the window up and down with my balls. Hey. <laughs> That's gross, dude. That is gross. Yeah, you're right. I, I agree. How would they, how would you feel that unless People you're driving the around seat, humping the seat? Nude. <laughs> That's true. I would make backseat entertaining. Your whole backseat's a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a cup holder? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I haven't emptied it. <laughs> That's gross, dude. Why would you say that? Because <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, built-in fleshlight. I'm t- that's just, the next step. I'm telling you, if that's the case, I want to know, like, do they have different textures available? I, I don't know. I would assume so. Fantastic. Actually, my thing is, if you're going to create, like, synthetic skin, do it for better purposes. Like burn victims? <laughs> no. Oh, man, fuck them. Yeah. They always look surprised, whatever. Yeah. No, so I can <laughs> so I can have new fingerprints. <laughs> oh, okay. Good point. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Oh, I hear or you. so leather hands like you can get soft, supple oh, hands. Well, I just got to bust out the bird's bees again. Uh, that's true. You, know? you can just wear some uh, Nissan leather gloves, right? Perfect. Nice. As long as it replicates the moisture. I don't fucking know. I moved on. <laughs> Are we reading about this guy? You want me to read? You, you got it? You want me to get it? Wow. I, I, I'll let you sit there and think about the skin. <laughs> Russian man claims <laughs> pending doomsday means he doesn't have to pay a traffic ticket. It's fair. Mm-hmm. Some people will do anything to avoid paying a traffic ticket, even pray for the world's end. A man in Russia's Kamarov region issued a traffic ticket this past summer after he had a minor car accident. Uh, he's hoping the Mayan calendar gives him a reason to skip out on the bill, which amounts to $32. What? Listen, it's, <laughs> it is Russia. Russia yeah, I hear you. That's a lot of vodka. Um, <laughs> Rather than writing a check, the unidentified man wrote a 10-page explanation of this decision to not pay the ticket. I hope the KGB wow. shows up and just tunes him up. <laughs> According to his calculations, the doomsday will come at the end of the year, and the payment would be pointless. 
So would having the $32. Isn't there a gulag he should be in now? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, exactly. He reportedly visited a court official every day with schemes, drawings, and graphs, the marshals told Punch the paper. The, the debtor believes that if people are kinder to each other and forgive each other's debts, the world will not end. A Kemmerover-based <laughs> debt collector said, according to the UPI, no word on if uh, this has worked or not. I hope it does. I, I, hope, it, I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Fuck that guy. It's $32. How about this? They they tell him that it's fine, and then they beat the shit out of him. I agree. <laughs> yes? I got cords everywhere. Jesus. Yes, comrade, you all right? No. no. I might try that when I go to court for my ticket. Yeah, that's why I wanted to put this one in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a good technique. End of the world's coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, mine's going to be a lot more than $32. Oh, geez, what'd you do? Or what'd right. you allegedly do? <laughs> <laughs> No names, um, though. Yeah, no names. <laughs> I mean, what did someone you know allegedly do? <laughs> <laughs> I was speeding. Um, I was just going with the flow of traffic. and She was I, leading, but... <laughs> what? I said you were leading. You were being the pace car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, he said I was going over 20 miles over. 20 miles per hour over. So How many I have a mandatory court date. I don't even get to just pay it. Oh, my. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Damn. So. You know what? I, I got to say, <laughs> you must be terrible at being female then. What the hell? Seriously. No, he didn't care. It was a huge speed trap. Like, there was five cop, cop, five cop cars waiting in line. And what they just went, like, one right after yeah. the other on both well, sides. One of those. It's actually more because of the warrants you have out for you. The ticket was just what they <laughs> caught you on. It's kind of like Capone going for uh, tax fraud. Now, you know, it, I, know, evasion. I know you live down in the south. Shouldn't there have been like a bridge out and you could jump it? Yeah. Like, like in Dukes of Hazard. Right about now, them Duke boys better grow some wings. Did you? Commercial. Oh, Perfect. That'd be but great. But you know what's funny, though? Um, the blonde guy from Dukes of Hazard. What's his face? I don't know. His last name's Schneider. Uh, I can't remember his first name. Um, yeah, that guy. Let's yeah. go, Steve. His kid went to my school. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Did he drive? Did, did wow? That's cool. Wasn't he Pa Kent? Yeah. I no. don't know. Oh, you know Superman, kind of. Mm, I don't know. Not really. Not really. But, John, John yeah. Schneider's his name. Schneider. Yeah, yeah. That kid. Yeah. Huh. He also sang country music. Did he? Yep. Oh, that was probably horrible. I, think, I actually think my mom had one of his records. No. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with her? CDs. It's my mom. You know. tracks. Yeah. Whenever. No, not that far back. <laughs> I don't know. The other guy's Pat Wopat, if I remember correctly. You are correct. It is Pat Wopat. I kind of want to pull up some of his music. Hmm. <laughs> no, you don't. No, because it probably won't work. Okay. A, our... it's country music. I just want to hear how bad it is. B, it's country music. But I want to hear how bad it is. C, country music all right i just want to say cunt three times good point Mm -hmm. moving on moving on unless you got something else tate oh yeah you got anything oh this is a good one sure um see here (laughs) fresno california (laughs) dateline a california man got an early morning beat down yeah after he pummeled by a karate student who found him drunk in her bathroom that'll happen janine ramirez had just won a karate competition when she arrived at her Fresno apartment early Sunday, heard someone in the bathroom. Ramirez 20 kicked down her bathroom yeah. door. Yeah, and wow. And then kicked the intruder through a shower door. <laughs> <laughs> this chick's great. That's some fucking Seagal front kick action. Hell yeah. yeah. She, she continued with an onslaught of kicks and punches until Wilberto. <laughs> Wilberto Zapata. He deserves to be beaten just for the name alone. 18 was outside of his apartment. We didn't recognize him. Me and my mom live in the apartment, so that no guy whatsoever should be in there. Maybe she, the dude's banging her mom. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> that line's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> her mom and her are both lesbians? What's going on? Know. They can't have male friends? Apparently not. You know what it is? I bet it's like, uh, this will be a nice topical throw. It'll bet it's like bosom buddies. They can't have guys in there. Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's Tom Hanks? And... The, the guy who guy. doesn't work anymore. The other guy who ended up bare-assed on the TV show Girls. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Ramirez has a yellow belt, a step above beginner, and expects to be promoted to orange next month. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, I mean, oh. she should be promoted to, like, red. I know. She's <laughs> clearly dangerous. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. She has been in karate and Muay Thai kickboxing yeah. student for a year. 
Saturday oh, was first that, Muay Thai. That's, yeah. that's hardcore. That's yeah. bad shit. Throwing yep. at knees and elbows. Mm-hmm. I was actually more Just nervous than the competition. Like, I literally kicked him all the way through the house. <laughs> uh, he said he was drunk and broken into his own apartment. Thought he had broken into his own apartment. So he thought he was home and then got his <laughs> yeah. shit kicked in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's great. I don't know how many times that happens. That's awesome. <laughs> I love the. I had to protect my mom and protect myself and get this intruder out of my house. She said he sort of did deserve it. If he hadn't broken into my house, it wouldn't have happened. So he was probably just in the bathroom, like you know, doing the old drunk. I'm, I better sit here just in case I got a yeah. Oh, I was thinking the five knuckle shuffle, but well, right. maybe you know. And then he ends up getting kicked through a shower door and yeah. all the way through the apartment. That's mm-hmm. fantastic. <laughs> What a jerk. <laughs> He's outside the apartment. She's fucking twirling like a cue stick around. <laughs> <laughs> the the old, uh, now oh, we got a message. Oh. The, the old, uh, cue ball and the towel yeah. trick from whatever skull movie that was. I don't know. Probably above the law. Yeah, it's, or breaking the Which, law. I can't believe she's only a yellow belt. I mean, this guy must be like a giant pussy. Boy, he was a giant drunk. <laughs> That's true. And his name was, where was it? Wilberto. Wilberto. Or Wilberto, whatever. <laughs> I just think it's amazing. She just fucking kicked through the door and then just started busting him open. I know. I, I, I kind of want to see a, a picture of her just so I can see how either little tiny as she is or giant hulking. Mm. You know? I'm very curious. I'm sure you are. That sounds pretty big to me. You say it sounds oh. rapey? No, pretty big. Oh, well, okay. Everyone's if pretty If you're going to, like, kick down a bath. Door. Yeah. Well, you know what, though? In fairness, we don't know what kind of neighborhood they live in. It might be a really shitty door. Could be. You know, like half hanging off the hinges, or maybe it's just made of, it's a shower curtain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, beads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 guy's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just pissing on the towels. <laughs> oh, it's terrific. Uh-huh. Wow, why am I getting the spinny spin? I don't know. My laptop might be having a seizure. <laughs> eh, it's fine. Exactly. Well, it doesn't shit out. It's I think fine. this this story's hilarious. You want you got no, it? Gonna... All right, all right. Girl breaks up with her boyfriend right before he buys a thirty million dollar lottery ticket. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, but seriously, why is this news? I mean... uh, well, I agree because it's the Huffington Post. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's Elite Daily. Yeah, it it's like, kind of, it's laid out like the Huffington Post. It though. is, actually, yeah. You know? I don't even know what this news is. This news paper? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Either. I don't know either. It's the voice of Generation Y, guys. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that, well, that's my generation. But, but, uh, never mind. Uh, saying Deep Sea <laughs> says he doesn't want her calling him, not that he's a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. She Please broke up. Forget my number. <laughs> Hell yeah. Go and brush your shoulders off. It's two references. She broke up with me right now, but I'm not really worried about it. Singh said because because he's like I got bitches all over the place. Nah, he started. Look at that out. little Indian man. He's busting out some 99 problems. You know that. That's yeah, true. <laughs> I was heartbroken at first, but now I'm getting over it. Yeah, 30 mil will do that. Yeah, rolling around in the money will help. Yes. I uh, got bitches everywhere. Uh, he currently works two jobs to help his family make ends meet. That and one four dollars on a scratch off ticket, nice. and weird like any addict use those four dollars yeah. to get more tickets. <laughs> but he got the the big fucking thirty point five mil. Singh, who goes by Sunny, ugh, Sunny oh, like the sun. Worse. Yes, thank you. Came forth his cli- the claim his prize of his mother, sister, and niece. Oh, I'm sorry. He should just he ran. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> he elected to receive the money in one time, the lump sum of twenty three mil. After taxes, that's about sixteen one. He's good. Wow, that's a pretty low tax amount. Yeah, really. Hmm. If that was here, it'd be like a third of that. Oh, it is here. It says Mega Millions, isn't it? Uh, Powerball, yeah. yeah. All right. I don't want to read, want to read his quotes because he yeah, annoys me now. But, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Do you like his quotes? Tate, yeah. read some quotes. you want to read his quotes? Um, In an Indian right. voice? It- <laughs> No. <laughs> How? I me say him. It's not that Indian. Oh, sorry. White man come. Oh my <laughs> great, great eagle, bring me money. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, not racist. That is so awful. No, no. Flawless and not racist. That's yeah. what that is. Mm, exactly. Mm, yeah. Totally. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <laughs> You're a horrible person. Uh, what? Oh, not you, her. Uh, 
I, <laughs> I, I was blessed when the squaw hey, left my teepee. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Any great bear? Like, stop. You need to stop. I should just take a drink. Yeah, have a drink. <laughs> All right. I'll sit back. Let's see if Tate can save us here. Uh, I'll just read the quote. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Help. Uh, I was in my sister's room on the computer reading the numbers. He said at a press conference Wednesday evening yes. um, at the headquarters in Braintree. What? Okay. I didn't know what to do. I dropped the ticket. <laughs> Whatever. Yes. I got hit by a car and then my name is Earl. Yes. <laughs> Stop it, dude. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, no, this... All this stuff is stupid. His quotes are Exactly. His quotes dumb. suck. That's why I wanted her to read them. Yeah. Play along, asshole. But no, they're not even that good, though. Not, right. They're not even good as the American Indian or Indian Indian voice. That's true. No. All right, fine. Move on. Unless I add in Great Eagle, nope. Bears, and Squaws. Nope. Moving on. All right. <laughs> Manhattan man booted from public library for body odor sues for $5.5 million. Wait a minute. What? Did you say library? No, I said library. Oh, you did. I don't think you did. I think you said library. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> An upper west sider with heinous body odor. Who the fuck? Oh, it's, it's that, Steven Tyler. Oh, my God. <laughs> not not the story. Tony's looking at a picture. I just saw the He's trying to beat beaver. off to Steven Tyler. Not in, <laughs> that'll take all day. <laughs> Whatever. His face looks like your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're 100% exactly. correct. He looks like the fleshlight <laughs> version of your hands. <laughs> that will never sell. Yeah. Ugh. No one wants to go near them. Like, oh, my God. I don't want to jerk off a of broken glass. What is that? <laughs> All right. Back to the story. Yes. <clears throat> Herm. Herm. <laughs> An Upper West Sider with heinous body odor claims the New York Public Library has unfairly washed his <laughs> hands. said it again. And library. <laughs> Booting him from one of the branches because of his olfactory offensiveness. Ooh, nice alliteration. It's oh, pretty weird. Yeah. The situation smells of discrimination, claims 80-year-old old George Stillman. Oh, he's 80. He smells like death, of course. <laughs> death and mothballs. Yeah, he hasn't exactly. changed his diaper. Come on. <laughs> he's filed a $5.5 million lawsuit against the library in Manhattan Supreme Court. The loyal library user says he's gone to the St. Agnes branch on Amsterdam Avenue for 20 years without one incident and was humiliated more than three years ago by a manager's request he leaves. Three years ago, huh? Mm -hmm. And you're just now suing? He's old. It took him that long to get there. He forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> he insists the problem stemmed from the library's restrooms, not him. <laughs> <laughs> Which he just happened to have just walked yeah, out exactly. of. Yeah, he just walked in and destroyed him. <laughs> uh, he claims in court papers he found the branch manager to be giving off an odor but never objected, understanding that such a challenge to the senses was just a fact of life in the city. <laughs> what? Oh, he's one of them Is city stinkers. <laughs> Is he homeless? I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't look homeless. He kind of looks homeless. <laughs> All right, he does. But... Yeah. <laughs> in fact, Stillman still thinks or thinks the library was just being snooty since New York City was recently declared the smelliest city in the country. Prado. <laughs> According to his court papers, which note that individuals with different diets from different culture often emit an odor that is alien to others outside the group. What? Oh well, my well, god. This guy's a true. I mean, that's totally true. But this guy is not uh god, I don't even want to say it. You can say it. We've said far worse. No, see, here's what happened. Food says, cramps? Says the longtime Manhattan resident and dedicated long-distance runner says the lawsuit goes beyond B.O. That's all it is. He just runs a long distance, comes in, you know, reeking of everything. What is he running from? Well, that is B.O. then. That's not city. That's what? Well, he's also absorbing the city as he's running in, right? No? Unless he's, like, take it, like rolls and then like pop up and running and roll that'd be pretty awesome <laughs> that's I like, how i roll it's because people are tripping him yeah <laughs> knocking him down on purpose yeah exactly <clears throat> i can't focus with the steven tyler i'm gonna well, shift says, this little tape right, right over here. his face his, a, a quote from the guy says the only time i had an odor is when i was doing long distance running and i was sweating i've got no body odor which that's a fucking lie that everyone's, is a lie yeah everyone's got body odor Hmm. Uh, see here. When a reporter visited Stillman, she also noticed a strong order. 
Odor. Oh, yeah. Did I, what did I say? Order. Order. Oof. The Korean War veteran blames the apartment, opened his door and hallway window. Oh, now see, if he was going to sue him, he should have used the military angle. That would have been much better for him. Because hmm. he could have been like, I can't believe you would attack a veteran like that. That's true. Windmill slam oh, victory. On. There's a lot of vets that are homeless in New York. They don't give a fuck. Well, are they all going in the library, though? Probably. They're sitting the, on the side of the road with a cardboard sign. How do you know it's cardboard? With, like, minus one arm. Because oh. I've been there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Probably smell better than that guy. <laughs> that's terrible. Just saying. I didn't smell anything offensive when I walked by. There you that's go. That's your odor kind of covered. Oh, fuck you, Brian. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I, I don't see how stinky old man is news. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is from CNN. Or no, sorry, New York Post. Yeah. I, I don't... They can't help it. Moving on. Maybe he was so stinky that they just couldn't ignore him. How stinky was he? <laughs> he was so stinky, you should read this next story. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deeply religious <laughs> Newberg man. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, Crushed man. by falling crucifix. Lose his leg. Hey, did he check behind the couch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I brought it back. Nice job. David uh, Jimenez? 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 Whatever. Jimenez believed his devotion to a crucifix was responsible for his wife being cured of cancer. Naturally. Hmm. Well, the cru- crucifix fell on him, <laughs> crushing one of his legs. Well, that's the price he had to pay for there her is. to be cured. There right? Give and take. Yep. yep. God giveth, God taketh away. <laughs> <laughs> Jimenez sees tragic irony in losing his legs to a crucifix he had prayed for, leg, I'm sorry, to a crucifix he had played, prayed to. I can't talk. The crucifix had How's been, it feel, asshole? Yeah, no shit. The crucifix <laughs> had been outside the church of St. Patrick in Newburg for months. The 45-year-old pizza worker, does he deliver? Does he make? What does he do? Uh, Is he a meat drone? He's going to be real slow delivering now. Would stop and pray to the, at the crucifix that his wife be cured of ovarian cancer. And she was. Amazing. Yep. David, God. And it only God. cost him a leg. It don't, not an arm. <laughs> nope, just a leg. Uh, David attributed his cure to his devotion to that very cross, Kevin Kitson said. Because of that, he mine is, he mine is, got permission to clean the crucifix, which was long neglected, but in doing so, the statue dislodged and toppled on him. Whoops a daisy. <laughs> Throwing him to the parking lot, crushing his right leg. Uh, the attorney who uh, said the 600-pound statue was supported by a single screw in the base. <laughs> Strong engineering. <laughs> yeah, this will hold it. Exactly. Just some tape on the sides of it. The screw was useless. <laughs> the screw. Why did they repeat themselves? Because that's how important it was. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. The screw was useless. The screw is useless. Oh, that's why. Uh-huh. It supported no anchoring system. So it's just there. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. No, no. It was the thing was like propped up and there was a screw in front of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't actually Holding in the, the thing. Holding the tea together? Yeah. yeah. There's just a it's wad just of paper in there, too. Like an unbalanced diner table leg, you know? Yeah. Just put a matchbook in there. It's yeah, fine. It's fine, yeah. What could happen? Yeah. Someone, yeah. Someone's leg gets crushed. Yeah, exactly, yeah. This thing cures ovarian cancer, eh? <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, church pastor told uh, CBS2 Slattery by phone the parishioners collected food and some $7,000 for the family. Uh, who cares? Uh, he believes in the power of prayer. He's out praying for judgment. Not from a higher authority, but from a civil court. So we're already suing. No. Imagine that. Wow, this statue cured cancer but took my leg. Better sue. Yep. Good job. I know, right? Assholes. If you have faith, fine. Have faith. But for the love of God. Seriously. Clearly right. it happened for a reason. It certainly did. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Maybe there was cancer in that leg. And the statue's like, I gotta get rid of it. Squish. Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one smart statue. You just pray for a new leg, like a lizard tail or something. That'd be awesome. You know? What if he grew a lizard tail on his back. leg stump? Ew. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> fucking weird. weird. That would be weird. <laughs> It's like, look, I've got a leg grow. Oh, God, it's a tail. Oh, God. Oh, good God. <laughs> now it looks like I'm standing sideways all the time. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> be sweet on Halloween, though. Yeah, it would be. You yeah. can pretend like it's you're some crazy uh, monster that has a monster. <laughs> yeah, that has like a tentacle arm. That's true. Yeah, I'm too fulu again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, come on, him, or whatever your name was. Jimenez. Him. Yeah. Exactly. Somehow Tony has problems saying that. <sighs> he doesn't have a flawless uh, accent in that way. I guess. I guess not. I thought you could do any accent. <laughs> Who knew? Apparently, I'm flawed. I'm from Texas, so. You know. Tejas. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. We can tell. Yeah, whatever. All right. Hmm? I think it's broad right. time. 
Yeah. Let's talk yeah. some under under things. Under things. Whoop whoop. You got the under things? Oh, okay, you're too slow. <laughs> Yeah, world's largest bra sold to Golden Palace in a benefit auction for breast cancer campaign. Is it pink? Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is a Huffington Post article, by the way. The auction for the world's largest bra was no bust. Yeah. <laughs> ah, kill yourself. That's terrible. The size 1222B. Why a B? Was sold for uh, a lot. Where, where are you getting B from? Right there. It says B right there. I'm looking at 102ZZZ. What? The price. Right? No. Where, no, I see 12. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. That's, okay, for yeah. the, that's, for that's for the Norma, woman that we talked about. That's before. Norma Stitz. Yeah, remember we talked about her. Yes. With Tiggle Biddies, yeah. Tiggle over it. No, 1222B bra sold for uh, 3,601 pounds, okay. which is like almost $6,000. That's it? Who buys it? Who gives a shit? That's worth less than a bunch of Victoria's Secret bras that they parade every year. Yes. The bra is even too big for this monster with her <laughs> triple Z titties. Yeah. And her, oh my God, three and a half feet of cleavage. Oh, oh kill it before it Take breathes. Take a hide in there. You could. <laughs> Better hide. Whoa. 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 Holy shit. Whoa. Windstorm. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The bright pink gamut scaled up from a size 34B. Was designed by London Sailmaker, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? That's a slight upgrade, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, so your last... Oh, one oh up on God, eBay. Who? You that it weighs 198 pounds. That's uh, insane. Uh, yes, you're right. That's a, that, that is a big-ass bra. We could have multiple ladies in each cup. <gasps> and then fling them like a catapult. <laughs> a titapult? <laughs> titapult, yes. Score. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, see here, bidding ended, sold a cold, Golden Palace. Why they bought it, who gives a shit? Why not? Uh, oh, because they possess weird stuff like the Pultmobile, William Shatner's kidney stone, and a lock yeah. of the Beeb's hair. All right. I hope they put it on the Pultmobile and drive it around. Yes! <laughs> like a flag? <laughs> yeah, sure. I was actually just thinking about putting giant tits on the Pultmobile and driving them around. I agree. Mm hmm Leaving everything else the same, though. Well, of course. No, it would tip forward. The, you know, the bra is 200 pounds. Not if it's anchored, the right? The will be like, like this big. Wait. They don't drive it around. They sail it with the bra. There you go. All right. Let those luscious cups fill of air. <laughs> <laughs> Down the road. <laughs> eh? Now we're talking. That's a lot of wind power needed. That is a lot of wind power needed. Yikes. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's an ugly bra, too. It's not even cute. You're right. I suppose. I don't so know. if it was cute, you might have bit on it? <laughs> I mean, maybe. What are you going to do? Put it over your house? <laughs> Up on a roof? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do you have a tarp? Oh, my God. That's not a tarp. <laughs> That'd be a great car. Multiple car cover. Yeah. Just park one car on <laughs> each cup. I could just, like, wrap. Mason State Parade. Well, we lost her temporary. There she is. Okay. I'd around my house for all the. Oh. I like what? it. Eh. All right. I think it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Moving on. We should have got that. We should. I didn't know it was for sale. Neither did I. Shit. Yeah. Stay on top of this stuff. Oh. Uh, <laughs> come on, Brian. It's stone vagina time. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I can't stop laughing. Uh, Good luck with this guy's name. Yeah, when Milan Mar Marinkovic's wife, Melina. Wait, his name's Milan and he married a Melina? Well, it's actually just himself. Oh, okay. Where's the wig? <laughs> I had nothing. Died three years ago. She left a very personal request for him to fulfill. You know, as most people would. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. She wanted... Really? <laughs> she wanted... Seriously. She wanted... <laughs> she wanted a stonemason to engrave a replica of her private parts on the tombstone. Hot. <laughs> would she, at, at her yeah. age? Oh, that would be oh. terrible. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Does it say how old she is? I mean, well, maybe she's looking like, at the guy's face, yeah, I'm guessing old. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's a creep. Maybe she was like young. Or it'll look like a camel and that had a stroke. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Once the spiders make yeah. the webs, it looks perfect. <laughs> oh God! All right. Her intention for the rather public display of her privates was simple. She wanted to ensure that Marinkovic, a resident of Belgrade, Serbia, never looked at another woman. Because he's just going to sit and stare at the he's, tombstone. He's going to just show up and bang the tombstone. <laughs> Worst fleshlight ever. Oh, it's terrible. Um, it it chafes so bad. Get a Nissan, though, and you'll yeah, be all that's set. that's true. Yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe that's what he'll put on the outside. Oh. Be like that real skin stuff. Hmm, I like this yeah. idea. Hmm. No, no, I hate no, this it's idea. Terrible. This idea yeah. is terrible. Um, I don't want you chasing other women. This way you will always remember me, she said in a letter explaining her bizarre last request. Making the request was one thing. Fulfilling oh. it was another. Although Melina left detailed instructions, including photos of her sex organ, to ensure complete accuracy. Oh, jeez. Her husband had a rocky time finding a stonecutter who would agree to the request. Hey, I need you to make a cutout of my wife's vag. <laughs> Ew, yes. Why didn't... Okay, that's stupid. Why would she put it right on her tombstone? Why wouldn't she just, like, make a mold of her? And put it, like, up on the mantle? <laughs> no. Like... <laughs> like, make an urn out of it or yeah. something? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, but, yeah. like, yeah. you know, no, it... keep it in the bedroom so he could, like, you know, do his biz in oh. it. Is that a sculpture of a lily? <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> that's Grandma's vag. <laughs> Gross. That's where you came from. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> That's Nana's cum catcher. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I hate to see it, but I kinda wanna see pictures of this tombstone. <laughs> of course you do. Just saying. <laughs> Despite the struggle, Marinkovic recently found a mason who's willing to do the titillating tombstone. Oh, is it titillating? Probably not. Engraving and results are on display at the cemetery. Right, I open up a random tab. <laughs> oh, God. I'm... Keep reading. I'll find out. I can't. Uh... All right. Now it's finished. I love it, and it's a really good likeness. And this way, a part of her will always be, a part, or always be with me. Although people have seen Milan's labia likeness, most can't, can't tell what it is. Wow, really? Milan told the son that his yeah. brother-in-law asked why the bird on the tombstone had such a large beak. <laughs> <laughs> well, son. Uh, Nana no, had brother. a giant clit. No, 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 oh. brother. Well, bro. Yeah. <laughs> My wife had a giant clit. <laughs> what would be worse is if, he, if his brother walked up and was like, man, I miss that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, you know... It, no, he's like, why does it have such a large beak? He's like, it's my wife's vag. Be like, oh, I didn't really see her from the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> they carve it like, you know, 3D, like fresco or something. I know, right? Well, you'd think they could at least put maybe, you know, like a thong over it or something. All right. Or a skirt. I'm trying. I'm, I'm Googling vagina tombstone. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got to see. There's got to be a picture. Why do you need to see this? Because I got to know. I, I kind of want to see it, too. Yeah, I, I think we all do. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's actually pictures. There it is. Yep. That's really no not way. That I'm gonna... Hold on. I'll just send you the, the, the I'll send you the link. Stop it. Okay. That can't be it. Oh, wait. I got to make. I do appreciate the title of the website, though. What's happening? It's what's happening, but it's W-O-T-S. Come on, you Podcast. stupid fucking Skype. Get big. There we go. You see, this is in um, Austria, like the no, Serbia. bathroom sex thing. No, oh Serbia. Says, says oh, yeah. Austrian Times in the thing. It does, doesn't it? There we go. Okay. Interesting. Uh -huh. Maybe they, uh, he's probably been interviewed by all sorts it's, of media outlets because this is weird. It is very weird. Look, really. look at that guy. It's not, not like he's really going to see another pussy. You don't know what Ever. kind of money he has. There you go. I sent you a link via chat blog. Uh, yeah. Blog to you. Oh yeah. I. Yeah. Gonna, oh yeah. I'll bookmark this because I'm gonna have to put this on the website. <laughs> Ugh. You should make that our picture on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> what, like people, what is that? <laughs> Why is the beak so big? I don't get it. What is that? <laughs> All right, moving on. Wow. <sighs> Georgie Smith. Oh. That's a terrible name, especially for a chick. Hey, guy name. A uh, British student swallows toothbrush, but doctors... Well, there's no teeth to block it. <laughs> what she... I didn't even know they owned them. <laughs> but doctors allegedly can't... Must be an import. <laughs> she got off of Amazon oh, through on. salty language. Adam, Adam has teeth. But when... Well, good point. I won't make too much fun of Adam. It might be fake, but still. <laughs> They're sure he's sitting a glass on the night table. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It he, was a... he has good teeth. That's like... Yeah, he really does. Compared to what I've seen. I don't know. I can't remember. It's because they're fake. But I think they're pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, it was a harrowing case of teeth cleaning gone awry from British teen who feared she might die after swallowing her toothbrush. 
19-year-old 19 year old Georgie Smith of Brighton, East Sussex, Sussex, felt toothbrush slipping down her throat. What are you doing? Yeah, like, she's Better testing, get, clearly testing her gag reflex. Yeah. Better get my vocal doing. cords. Yeah. But couldn't do much to stop it. Uh, this broad has no gag reflex. Uh, duh. Yeah. She couldn't do much to stop it? Like, you couldn't... Aren't you holding it? Yeah, like, why, why? Down? Yeah, how far down is she brushing? Maybe there was something down there earlier. She's trying to clean it out. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Uh, I can't get the taste of <sighs> dick out of my mouth. Huffing the post? Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like, it's common stuck in my throat. It happens. <laughs> exactly. It's like coughing up spider webs. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, look, I'm Spider Man. <clears throat> oh, long oh, AIDS. Uh, Smith's brush of death. Oh, get it? God do you it. get it? Uh, it's not uncommon as one might think. What do you like mean? I've never heard of this before. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how. Uh, oh no no no! Hold hold on. See, you can't skip around. Cause I missed, like skipping around. You miss good nuggets like this. All right, we'll get on it. Quote: I thought I was going to choke to death and was stunned when I realized it wasn't stuck in my throat and I could breathe. Smith told the son, doctors allegedly told the teen that there was nothing they could do, and she would just wait for nature to take care of them. Oh, things. that would really suck. I hope it comes out sideways. <laughs> yes. I actually, I hope it's a Sonicare. That way it's like, <laughs> all the way ahead. <laughs> Maybe Lemmy Winks can help her get it out. But nobody knows where it is as x-rays don't show plastic. <laughs> She's lying. So it's just in her somewhere. <laughs> It could be dissolving in my intestines or may have... If it's already passed through, I think you would know. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that's weird. That feels like bristles. No, she's just, she has hard shits all the time. Okay. Yeah. She's always straining. she meant pass through her intestines, not... <laughs> like, like, maybe her large intestine, not her small or poop mm. shoe. Yeah, I think she would notice if she shed it. <laughs> you would hope, at like, least. Yeah. If oh, not, so? she should maybe lay off the anal for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just saying. Maybe she likes it like you do. Deep. <laughs> Deep. Little we know her boyfriend's got like a tuna can. <laughs> <laughs> I carumba. <laughs> oh, my. Yikes. Hmm. According to the Jerusalem Post, 25-year-old woman swallowed the brush, bristles and all, while leaning over her bathroom sink. How's that? But Wait. emergency doctors failed to find the brush and doubted her stories, as well they should, because I'm thinking that she lied. Liar, liar. Mm -hmm. Pants on fire. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. I would keep her in a hospital. I would she shit that thing out. Nah, I'd send her home. Just for the gag. I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Like, this would be a great story. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the story, and like, don't you think that it could poke a hole or something if it turned or, you know? <laughs> Just on its own, considering how long most toothbrushes are, that that doesn't seem good to be moving through. Your I wouldn't system. think so. Yeah. Yeah. What we do she's, know she's is her colon is tartar free. A picture of it. So yeah. Maybe that's. Not, I hope that's not it. Oh, that'd be great <laughs> if it was. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I found it. <laughs> it's my favorite toothbrush. Yeah. Got to keep it. I gotta keep it. She digs it out the toilet. She's like, "What? The water's clean." A little gamey, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ugh. She's like, I think my stomach acid cleaned it off. I'm good. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. <laughs> ugh, ugh, ugh. That's disgusting, Tony. It Why would you say that? It certainly is. All right. You know, it'd be different if it was one of those. Do you remember, like, the travel size toothbrushes they used to have that were... Oh, you could break them in half and yeah, shit? Yeah. yeah. Like, if it was one of those, at least you could go, well, but, like, a full-size toothbrush? <laughs> it's like sticking a ruler down your throat. She's and probably done it. it. Yeah, well, obviously. She has, has no gag reflex. There's only one way to find that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was trying yeah. to see how far it could go. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, whoopsies. Oh, my <laughs> God. I lost control. <laughs> whoopsies. How do you just how do you let go of the toothbrush? Yeah, that's. Yeah. You know, I don't understand. She bends over. It, clearly, it ha you can't even, I can't even fathom this because even if you had it just in your mouth, like, right. you know, it's like hanging out of your mouth par partially, unless you like hit your face on something. Hold on. I got out. it. She was brushing her teeth, leaning over the sink. Mm -hmm. Surprise butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Good call. All right. All right. Well, you I think might, we might spit it out then unless you were pushed so hard you hit the mirror or something and exactly. it shut down your throat. Well, sometimes surprise butt sex. <laughs> 
sometimes mm, it's more aggressive enough. than others, I guess. Exactly, exactly. Yikes. <sighs> what a dumb... Yeah, we'll move on. Oh, that's it. That is it. That was the last, no- the last news story. What kind of time are we looking at? I don't know. What time? We had about 20 before, so about an hour and a half. Want to do autocorrect or no? Sure, sure. You get to ha- you get to partake in live autocorrect theater. How exciting! Amazing. Amazing. Do you want do you want the link so you can join in? Sure, he has it. I have it. Oh snap! You want to you want to read some of these? Remember earlier when you were like, "Did you send her that?" And I was like, "Yes." All right. You, the first one you got to read the second one because it's labeled "Mom." Just saying. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? <laughs> so I don't have to, I don't have to do my chick voice. <laughs> I, all right. All right. What are we blue? You blue? I'm gray. We're all the way around. I'm the ones on the left, whatever color they are, All right. usually. LMAO! Dun, dun, I'm sexy. Never mind. Oh, uh, I, was about to c- I was about to call the police and file a missing persons report. Finishing BK right now, then coming back. Gavin was showing me his balls. And I said, don't worry, Daddy is getting some for us to cut him off. He <laughs> said, oh, thank God. Nails, not balls. OMG, worst autocorrect ever. Getting your balls cut off seems like a bad thing. Mom? Oh. <laughs> Okay. You're on. <laughs> You're up. Action. Um, can you go to this? <laughs> I'm not going to be as exciting as you are because you're much better at this than me. Oh, practice but... makes perfect. I do this at my house by myself. <laughs> That's not all you do there by yourself. Sounds like it. Nude. <laughs> <laughs> it's adult autocorrect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a... We didn't do the intro for this. So... Oh, yes. No, see, that's what makes the whole thing when Alistair Mc... okay, well, McTony do it. We'll... does it. Oh, wait. I'll wrap it up with it. All right. Fine. All right. God damn it. Okay. You don't wrap anything up. Because <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can you go to the store and buy me some cockadoo? It'll do. <laughs> ha ha ha. Laughing. Do hard right now. I meant Coca Cola. So not do. But seriously, can you get me some Coke? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds what like the they've already fuck? had too much coke. <laughs> Go trick or treating in England. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> win. <laughs> Real quick, I forgot to say that earlier. When you read that story, Tate told me about this last night, and she said that was her first thought was Adam. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, yeah. It all worked out. Yep. <laughs> it, because it's true. So, huh? hey, he hasn't been on Twitter much. Hey, can you get I... pregnant before you come over today? What? <laughs> what? Oh my God! I meant to ask if you could get Pringles at the grocery store. Pringles, the chips. It's like you had to specify. <laughs> Not pregnant. Gah. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> hey, baby, you want to get the Pringles? Yeah. yeah. Give me them barbecue, baby. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> barbecue. Well, at least you didn't ask for the salt and vinegar. That's true. Hey, Douche. Pick up with them cheesums, would you? Ooh, che- no, they don't call them cheesums anymore. What the hell are they call them? I forgot. Show bought some when we were at the store the last time. Not they cheesums. They don't call them cheesums. They're just, I don't know, cheddar things now. <laughs> non exciting cheddar they're, Pringles. They're just called not cheesums now. Not cheesums. Yeah. All right, game on. Uh, what? Uh, why is this up there? Oh, whatever. Was wedding someone I saw it chilling? It says and, weeding. It does. What well, can I carry on, my wayward son? <laughs> Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Don't you cry no more. Go, <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. I need to Was get sleep. Was some more and saw it chilling. What? I thought if I left it alone, I'd leave me alone. It'd leave me alone. I guess the rules have changed. He stung me twice. Frowny face, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. I'm gonna come lick him in his little bee wiener. <laughs> Holy shit! Kick, not lick. <laughs> little bee wiener. <laughs> the most perfect autocorrect. Worst honey ever. <laughs> My inner thighs hurt. Anyone? This is yours, Tate. Oh. You're... All right. My inner thighs I... hurt. Go ahead. My inner thighs hurt. <laughs> wow, your inner thighs must really hurt. Seriously, they're painful. <laughs> they're all My chapped over here. The genital soreness. My arms are tired. Genital soreness. Interior bang, interior bang. LOL. General, general. Fuck my life. Autocorrect is a damn dirty bitch. Oh my God, I can't breathe. 
I'm dying over here. I just read it to everyone, and they're laughing too at you. <laughs> that was can't read the rest. <laughs> One more or two more? One more after this. Okay, smiley face. Love you. That's right. You're my best friend, my rock, my knight, and shining ar- armpit. Oh my god, armoire. <laughs> Fail. Epic. Fail. So she, he's her knight in shining furniture? Yes. <laughs> because, you know, it's one of those idiots that doesn't know how to spell armor. Knight. Yeah, right, 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 right. See, that's the joke. Night wifey. Good night, dead husband. Sweet dreams. <laughs> LOL, dear. Oh, my God. Damn, autocorrect. LOL. <laughs> that would have been scary as fuck. LOL. I'm sorry. LOL. I'm still laughing. <laughs> like you had some kind of crazy killer <laughs> lust for me. Now this is a double down that's here. That's disgusting. Moving on. Wait a minute. There's an up. Oh, yeah, they played it twice. Dicks. Jesus, she should. I'm getting really sleepy, so I'm goons go to bed. I can't wait for nine months, though. I'm heading to bed, too. Smiley, let the countdown Chinese. No, not Chinese. Commence. Damn it. The fuck was that? I don't know. I'll be on MSN tomorrow. Smiley. (laughs) Let it Chinese. (laughs) Oi. I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Let it Chinese. For fucking funny. That whole thing sucked. That was not like. Meh. 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 Boo. All right. Who's going to be Ashley? Wah. You want to be Ashley Tate? Smashley? Okay. Or Smashley. Do, do I look like a cow? Moo. <laughs> Frown. Any face? Great. Moo, moo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> be, be nice. That's mean. LOL. Oh my fucking god! That was the worst autocorrects ever. I said no. I swear to God. No, no. Read the text. Read the text. Read the text. Yeah. Like, Whatever. Oh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, fuck, Ashley and her friend? That was awful. Exactly. She Shit. stinks hey. on ice. <laughs> Uh, thinking of you. What the fuck is that? I don't know. All right. Tate, what's that sign? Hey, baby, what's your sign? Uh-huh. The carrot and the four. Greater than? Less than? That's less than, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All right. Yeah, yes. moving on. Fuck it. Thinking of you. Moving on. Uh, was watching Game of Throbs with Mun. Nonsense. <laughs> Game of Throbs, a song of boners. <laughs> Just fell off my bed. You're amazing. Laughing so hard. Best autocorrect yet. Big smiley. Oh, frowny. I know a guy who's allergic to laws of laws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frowny face. Duck. I met lobster. Duckin' auto turduckin'. That sounds delicious. <laughs> iPhone is Sullivan. Stop, stupid fail. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, it's green. I'm sorry. Yeah, my morning was shitty, and the rest of the day was hot. Monterey is good. This morning, I choked a goat and pissed in my coffee. (laughs) LOL. LOL. No, I choked on toast and spilled my coffee. Fucking spell check. I like the other one better. You would, hippie. (laughs) The fuck? (laughs) Hippie? You dirty, tree-hugging son of a bitch. (laughs) Did you accidentally unplug my cock last night? (laughs) Uh, I believe pulling it out is standard procedure after finishing, sir. So, no, (laughs) it was not an accident, but you did that yourself. LOL, I meant my cock, my alarm cock. (laughs) Oh, I didn't know it had an alarm. What has to happen to set it off? My alarm clock. Oh. That's a terrible response. That is a terrible Why response. Why wouldn't you just play along? Exactly. Like, go, I don't know. It goes <laughs> off in the morning. Some leaders are just a cock picture. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> don't hit the snooze button. <laughs> Swat. Swat. <clears throat> oh, it's oh. you. You're up. Uh, we should go see the Phantom of the Opera on Broadway when we get there. Oh, my God, yes. That would be so fun. The family opera is there inside your mom. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Mind. LMAO. Ha, I'm dying. Dying. Nice laugh. That's stupid. <laughs> These All right. people suck. And that wraps up, Brian. Another thrilling installment <laughs> of autocorrect theater. 
Oh, that hurts. Thanks, Alistair. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? No. <laughs> Have you made it through the second one of those uh, energy drinks yet? Almost. Mm, nice. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to have to go get some booze when I get home now. Get down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get down. Wow, trying to give head to the mic now. Yeah, you like that? I'm, try, I'm trying to see if I can swallow and lose it. Oh, well. That yeah, wouldn't work. All right, then. I can barely brush my tongue. It's terrible. Without swallowing your toothbrush? Yeah, it's, her- it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have blamed you. Uh, well, I believe that brings yeah. us to the end of the adventure. It does. A fine adventure it was. Fun was had. Was it? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. Um, so let's see here. Saltylanguage.com. Yep. Podgodsnetwork.com. Yes. Suck it. I got it right that time. Check out the Pod God Damn It podcast, which we appear on. Maybe skip this one because it's the worst question ever. Adam. Yeah. Nah, just listen to us. Because no. we wreck it for everybody. It's, it's <laughs> awful. Head front to back. You got anything you want to plug, Tate? Your Twitter, maybe, or whatever? No? Um, I don't know. It's Hayes something. I don't, I don't even know my team. <laughs> All right. That's perfect. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Taylor will be showing up uh, locally in a court near you for <laughs> speeding tickets. <laughs> so check on her appearance, guys. Nice. <laughs> November 5th, 830. There you go. <laughs> are you headlining or are you opening? <laughs> or are you a middler? Yeah. Uh, She's a middler. Move on. No, no. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> so uh god damn it on twitter we're salty underscore language we're on tumblr blah 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 yeah, go to salty at the bottom there's links to everything links to everything except the podcast network that's at the top of the page as long as well as the amazon link I feel like i'm being tangled up in all these cords so be a good monkey go buy lots of stuff through amazon yep or click the donate oh, i button. just bought something today actually see excellent you're our, fucking welcome our most loyal <laughs> amazon customer yeah. yeah. Well. It's true. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. See that? And now that's how it's done, folks. All right. So do you, you want to try our closing line again? Uh, have a beer. You'll be fine. Perfect. See you next week. <laughs>